afternoon by the Cleveland Browns. Second down, seven. Walker wide to the near side. Kevin Law. 38 yard line, third down and two. Gary Shirk, Mickey Sims make the tackle. We'd like to welcome those of you across the nation that are now joining us. The Cleveland Browns kicking off to the New York Jets. The Jets have the ball at their own 38-yard line. Third down and two. This has been their opening series. Mickey Schuler comes in. Two tight ends on the set. Woody Bennett, Clark Gaines, and Kevin Long are in. Third down and two. Clark Gaines in motion. First down. Kevin Long to the 41-yard line. Tom Darden made the tackle. The offensive line for the Jets from left to right is Chris Ward, Randy Rasmussen, Joe Fields, Eric Cunningham, and Marvin Powell. You know, you talk about that offensive line of the New York Jets. Many feel it is as good as any offensive line in the National Football League, particularly the two offensive tackles, 72 Chris Ward, 79 Marvin Powell. Jets first down, their own 41. Opening drive of the ball game. Bruce Harper, who stayed in, he is brought down at the 45-yard line by Lyle Alzado, and he picks up four yards on the play. Number 77, Lyle Alzado. He has a little stunt going on right now. He's taking the inside, and he happens to be guessing right because he's going right in the direction of the ball carrier. And he comes up and makes the tackle along with number 59, Charlie Hall. But he made about three yards. Second down and six. Gaffney in motion. First pass is complete. To Walker, first down, down the goal line, down the bound. Oliver Davis stops it. Well, there's a man they want to get the football to, number 85, and particularly in the open field with his tremendous speed. They want a, a defensive back to have to make an open field tackle on him. Quick screen, faking to the back, not much of fake at all, but getting the ball out quickly to the wide receiver. And there's one-on-one -on -one situation out there, and I guarantee you that Oliver Davis, number 21, does not like to come up and make the tackle on 85 Wesley Walker all afternoon. At the Cleveland 47-yard line, first down. Second first down in the ball game for the Jets. Jerome Barkham in the slot shows motion. Scott Durkee, the ball carrier. Charlie Hall was there for the defense. Let's look at that Cleveland defense with Mike St. Clair, Mickey Stem, Jerry Shirk, and Lyle Alzado up front. Lyle Alzado, number 77, is the new man in town, and they need his pass rush. But the man that stabilizes that defense, number 72, Jerry Shirk. Talked to him before the ball game. He said he's healthy, ready to play. Linebackers, Charlie Hall, Dick Ambrose, Clay Matthews starting on the right side. Walt Michael, the head coach of the Jets. Second down, a little over four. Jerky. It'll be close to a first down. Mickey Sims makes the tackle. The secondary for Cleveland, Ron Bolton and Oliver Davis on the corners. Baron Scott and Tom Darden at the safety. They've got a good defensive unit back there, particularly number 27, Tom Darden, who was an all-pro free safety last year. They're down and one. The ball just outside the Cleveland 37-yard line. So again, Mickey Schuler comes in, two tight ends, and Clark Gaines comes in, three running backs, Scott Durkin, Kevin Long, and Clark Gaines. Gaines on the right wing, third and one. Durkin, it will be close. He is on the skin part of the infield, may have had a little trouble with his footing, and he had a lot of trouble with the Cleveland defense. Yes, sir, and I'll tell you, in a short yardage situation like that, a very key man is the middle linebacker, because the defensive line is bunched up, and they're going to be pitching inside. Number 52, Dick Ambrose, is free, and he has to read that play, and he has to go. He can't be waiting around looking. He's got to create something and try to get in the backfield and get some uh, penetration. He did that time. Whether it was soon enough or not, we'll see right now. First down. That shows you, Charlie, just how quickly that middle linebacker has to react because Ambrose reacted very quickly on that situation, made a good play, but still wasn't good enough for the, to stop him from making the first down. At the Cleveland 36-yard line, first down. New York Jets have a good drive going here for the first one of the 1979 regular season. They stay now with two tight ends. The remaining back is Kevin Long. The 
This is a throwing formation. They give instead to Long. He jumps outside. He's in trouble. Picks up a couple of yards. It'll be second and eight. Lyle Alzado is there. Number 52, Dick Ambrose on that last play. Along the line of scrimmage, the middle linebacker has to be quick from side to side because he has to beat blockers to the to the ball carrier, and he does, does a fine job. Number 52, Dick Ambrose. And here's he made the play, even though he didn't make the tackle. He made that back change directions, enabling the rest of the defensive pursuing team to come up and make the tackle. Second down and eight. Now Robinson has thrown only one pass. It was complete to Walker. Breaking clean is Kevin Long. He may have the first down. Jerry Shirt finally stops it. I'll tell you what Robinson did very well that time. They came up. They didn't let the Cleveland Browns get set. They went on a quick count, and I think they caught them before they were really set to play defense. Sign of a good quarterback is a quarterback that's going to change his cadence. He'll go on a quick count, he'll go on medium range counts, and then he'll go on long counts, trying to confuse that defense. Make sure that they're the ones that are playing defense and not the offense playing defense. If yeah, that makes any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like Matt Robinson's having any problems with that, that bad thumb right now. But he's only thrown one time. And he, you notice that the pass that he threw was a very sure pass. Third down and about an inch to go for the first down. 26 yard line. Lynn, do you gamble here? Do you go deep in the end zone or do well, you just pick up the first down? I think what they're going to do is go for the first down because they've had successes on the last two occasions. They don't want to bog down now. They figure they can make a couple of inches going straight ahead. Short yarded situation, Durking Long in game, two tight ends. Kevin Long dies in the first back. Dick Ambrose met him over the top, and Clay Matthews, the right linebacker, was also there. Well, I'll tell you, they talk about middle linebackers, but so far, number 52, Dick Ambrose, is showing me something because he's been in all, all these plays, these crucial plays, but unfortunately, number 77 is Lyle Alzado. Take a uh, Lyle says, I, give me anything that I can get a hold of, whether it's a face mask, the headgear, or anything. Yes. Just give me a part of that different colored jersey. And he tried to get the football, too. First down, just outside the 25-yard line of Cleveland. Jets started this drive back on their own 30-yard line. This is the 12th play of the drive. Sweep right side with Bruce Harper. 18-yard line. Alzado coming down the line, makes the tackle on Bruce Harper. That play didn't look like much, but it picked up about six yards. In order to get outside, somebody has to be doing some blocking on that offensive unit. Second down and four. Just outside the 18-yard line. Walker goes wide to the far side. Gaffney is wide to the near side. Running backs are split. Bruce Harper and Kevin Long. Now they close up for me. Kevin Long was shut down by the defensive right side of the Browns, cut back inside, and was brought down by Mike Sinclair. Charlie, a good running back, has to be heavy, running with his head up to make sure that he knows where his offensive linemen are blocking the defensive linemen. They're too big on defense to take him where they don't want to go. So what you do is just block him. Number 72 is Jerry Shirk, an outstanding uh, defensive lineman. He's going to be blocked on by 65, Joe Fields. And Joe just took him the way that he wanted to go, and the back cut behind him. At the 13-yard line, first down. Turkey. He has three yards on the play, and Jerry Shirk, the defensive right tackle, the 10-year veteran, was there along with Clay Matthews from USC. Matthews, number 57, was the number one draft choice a year ago, but he was injured in preseason, into the first part of the season. He really didn't know what he could do. He has come on to beat out Gerald Irons as starting right linebacker. Charlie, they just made that, that decision this morning to go with Matthews as opposed to Gerald Irons. Second and seven. Second pass for Robinson. Incomplete. He was going over the middle. Kevin Long was there. Barkham was also in the neighborhood. He may have been just throwing it away. No, he wasn't throwing it away. That ball took off on him. That was like an up shoot pass. A thing that you don't want down there because there was a couple of safety men back there in the end zone that almost had a hand on it. They what, can't afford to give it up down here. What causes the ball to take off? The release, that he, the way he releases the football. Is that thumb? The thumb definitely has a factor. Okay. It's definitely a very good thumb. He's got tape on that jam thumb that he suffered a couple of days ago. Third down and seven. 
Robinson slips. He'll be sacked. He's dropped back at the 17 of the 18 yard line by Lyle Alzado. Yes, sir, you're talking about the man that they wanted to put pressure on the quarterback. The thing they did not have last year was a good pass rush. The acquisition of number 77, Lyle Alzado, they hope would solve some of that problem, and it did. Firstly, there was good coverage in the secondary because there wasn't anybody open. Otherwise, Robinson would have released the football. Pat Leahy with a field goal attempt. It will be from 25-yard line, an attempt of 35 yards. Timoresco holding. It is up. It is good. The score, the New York Jets three, the Cleveland Browns nothing. We'll be back to Shea Stadium with a kickoff in a moment. Action. Pat Leahy with a 35-yard field goal. 16 plays on a drive that covered 53 yards. 7 minutes, 52 seconds. Time consumed. Ricky feature number 83. But the key man on the return is number 89, Keith Wright, for the Cleveland Browns. And Pat Leahy will be kicking off from the 35-yard line. Two yards deep in the end zone, right out to the 10, the 15, 20, breaks it. Excellent return, near the 40-yard line, Keith Wright in his second year from Memphis State. Kim Troy is the man who made the tackle. Wright drafted in the fifth round a year ago. So now the Browns, for the first time in this season, when it counts, go on offense. Brian Seip at quarterback, Greg Pruitt and Mike Pruitt are the two running backs. Look for Mike Pruitt today. I think he's going to be a big man in this offensive attack for the Cleveland Browns because the Jets undoubtedly will be keying on 34th, Greg Pruitt. Cleveland from their own 40-yard line. Rucker in motion. Second back through with a flag down is Greg Pruitt. Dan Blinka makes the tackle along with Joe Pellegrini, but there was a marker on the play. The opening drive of the Jets, there was not a flag. Penalty against the Browns, it is refused. The receivers for Cleveland, Dave Logan and Reggie Rucker on the outside. Here's the call from the referee, Fred Silva. Three, defense, grabbing the face mask. Illegal motion, replay. Okay, we had offsetting penalty. So we'll bring it back to the 40-yard line, and the down will go over. Ozzie Newsom is the tight end, joining Reggie Rucker and Dave Logan as the three receivers. Ozzie Newsom, the tight end, number 82, is going to be, an, he's an outstanding tight end right now. In his second year, they feel he's really going to be super. Dave Logan, Reggie Rucker, they have played very little so far this preseason because of injuries. Really, this is their first full game. So we start all over with offsetting penalties from the Cleveland 40. Mike Pruitt. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Marty Lyons is there along with Stan Blanca. The offensive line for the Cleveland Browns, Doug Deacon, George Beeler, Tom DeLeon, Robert E. Jackson, and Henry Shepard. It's a good offensive line, and Byron, uh, Brian Seitfeld... That offensive unit of the Cleveland Browns can move the football against anybody. Head coach Sam Ritigliano of Cleveland. On defense, they have a Robert L. Jackson on offense of Robert E. Jackson. I asked Sam, you know, what do you call him? He said, I call him Robert Offense and Robert Defense. <laughs> Second and ten. Rucker in motion. Sight throws. It is there on target. Reggie Rucker is out of bounds near the first down. Bobby Jackson was chasing him for the New York Jets. They'll spot it right at the 50-yard line. We'll see how they call it. It will be a first down. Reggie Rucker has missed most of the preseason because of a, a leg pull or muscle in his leg pull. But looked like he was completely free and healthy on that play. Defensive line for the New York Jets this year. They are 4-3 with Lawrence Pillars, Joe Pellegrini, Joe Klecko, and Marty Lyons up front. Joe Klecko, number 73, he's the man that makes things happen out there for the New York Jets. He's playing that defensive right tackle position. 50-yard line, first down. Jets lead it, 3 nothing. Greg Pruitt. To the 45, to the 40, and then out of bounds. 
Donald Dyke was chasing him. They'll mark him out around the 38-yard line. It's a first down. Some outstanding blocking on this play. And, of course, what the Cleveland Browns want to do is get the ball to number 34, Greg Pruitt. And you can see 64, George Beeler out. Number blocking 82. Talking about the tight end, Newsom. He does a good job of blocking number 59, linebacker Martin for the New York Jets, enabling Pruitt to jump outside and get the first down. There's a lot of blocks that have to be executed very well on a wide play like that. That time, Cleveland Browns did it. At the New York 38-yard line, first down Cleveland. Greg Pruitt, right side, big hole. Brought down near the 30-yard line by Burgess Owens. The linebackers for the Jets are Greg Buttle, Stan Blinka, and Bob Martin. Number 54, the middle linebacker, Stan Blinka, according to the, the Jet coaching staff and Walt Michaels, is a real pleasant surprise because they figured he was good, but they didn't think he was going to be as good as he is right now this soon. He's doing a very good job for them, and he is not making mistakes defensively. Drafted unusual. in the fifth round from Sam Houston State. He went there, by the way, on a track scholarship. And the track coach was also the football coach to Vince McCann play football. Second down and two. The New York 30-yard line straight ahead is Mike Pruitt leaves near the 26. He'll have the first down. The secondary for the Jets, Bobby Jackson, Donald Dykes, the rookie at right corner, Schaefer Suggs, Burgess Owens at the safety. Number 26, uh, Donald Dykes, not only does an outstanding job playing defense, but he is dynamite in rushing that punter and that extra point and field goal kicker. He's blocked two already in preseason. First down Cleveland, New York 26-yard line. 12 seconds on the 30-second clock. They take a lot of time. Seven seconds. Five seconds. The play gets off with three seconds on the 30-second clock. Good on a sweep is out of bounds. This is Mike Good of Purdue. Marty Lyons, the number one draft choice from Alabama, defensive right end, and Bob Martin, the right linebacker, were both chasing him. A gain of a yard. It'll be second down and nine. You can credit a fine defensive effort that time by number 22, Burgess Owens, and number 93, Marty Lyons, because they wouldn't let him inside. They kept stringing out that offensive line and stringing it out till the rest of the pursuing defensive unit could catch up. Second down nine at the New York 25-yard line. And then, like we said at the opening, both ball clubs... Strong offenses last year. They start with strong offenses this year. Quick over, Greg Pruitt. Pruitt's in the clear. Inside the 10-yard line. 34. Greg Buttle makes the stop on Greg Pruitt. That was and a, Bobby Jackson was also there. Charlie, a quick opening play that time on a quick count, hoping to catch New York Jets. Maybe uh, not totally prepared for the play. Number 54, Stan Blinka. He's making a read, but he is dead because number 54... The center, Tom DeLeon, is right there. He had the proper angle to block him, and there was no way that Blinken could make the play. Good execution by the Cleveland Browns. At the eight-yard line, first down, goal to go, Cleveland. Jets lead it, 3-0, 342. Time remaining, first quarter from Shea Stadium. Mike Pruitt. Close to the five-yard line. It'll be second down and goal to go. And Joe Klecko makes the tackle. Of course, a lot of ball games starting earlier today. Houston had to come from behind to defeat Washington 29-27. It was Philadelphia over the Giants, 23-17. Giants uh, gave him a bit of trouble early, but that was it. Final in a close one. Look at this. Hello. And Minnesota over San Francisco, but the 49ers put more points on the scoreboard than anybody thought they were. Good in trouble. Good defensive play. Greg Bottle, and listen to the fans here at Shea Stadium. There was absolutely no place for him to go on that play because the defensive unit of the New York Jets really did a fine job. You can see it's a pitch out, hoping to get outside, or hoping to cut back. He doesn't care, but Bottle, 51, is playing very, very well. And Lawrence Pillars is the man who Lawrence caused Pillars a lot of problems. Lawrence coming up in the inside, making sure he could not cut back. So Pruitt had absolutely nowhere to go. Good defensive play by the New York Jets. So it's now third down goal to go at the 12. And don't forget the Browns, of course. It's Don Cockroft, an excellent field goal kicker. Type to throw. Sends everybody out. It is there. Touchdown. To Greg Pruitt. 
He had, to, he had to pinpoint that pass. Reggie Rucker, number 33, was also out there, but 34 Pruitt was coming down and running toward the corner of the end zone. They had a blitz on, but it was picked up very nicely by the Cleveland Browns. Good release, good timing by Brian, Brian Seip. Pruitt is there, six points on the board. 60 yards on the drive in 10 plays, and Cockcroft to attempt the point after. Dave Logan holds, the kick is up. There's a flag down. The kick was through the uprights, but there's a marker on the play. Offsides against the Jets. It will be refused. And the point count. So it is. Cleveland 7. And the New York Jets 3 will be back in a moment. 7. So, Lynn, we've got 2 minutes and 10 seconds left in the first quarter. We've had two scoring drives. A field goal for the Jets and a touchdown for the Browns. Well, you had mentioned uh, in the pregame show that uh, these were very explosive teams offensively. The big question mark was defense. Now, each team has had possession. Each team has scored. So, they are moving the football. The problems right now for Cleveland Browns and the New York Jets is stopping the opposition. Bruce Harper and Ken Troy are deep. Cockcroft will be kicking off. Now the Jets want Bruce Harper on the return. So he and Troy play a game that keep changing sides. Good kickoff, taking a yard deep. Harper has it. He's the 10. 50, 20, out around the 23 yard line on the return. Tripped up by Willis Adams, the number one draft choice out of Houston. Today's telecast presented by authority of the National Football League, intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast that the express written consent of the New York Jets and the National Football League is prohibited. So the Jets go to work on their own 23-yard line, first down, and they trail in the ball game 7-3. to three. Scott Durking and Kevin Long are the two running backs. Matt Robinson is the quarterback. Kevin Long and whistle sound. There may have been a violation of the 30-second clock, a delay of game. That will be it. Either that or illegal procedure. They're going to get him for an illegal procedure. It'll be a five-yard penalty. That'll be a movement of any interior offensive lineman from tackle to tackle once he goes to three or four-point stance. He cannot make a move. Here's the call. Ball start on 72. Chris Ward, if you could read lips. Because uh, we didn't pick up his microphone here. Fred, you may have forgotten to turn it on. Okay. Bring it back to the 18-yard line, and it'll be first down 15. Robinson throws, it is incomplete. Going to Derek Gaffney and around the 34-yard line. Ron Bolton had the defensive coverage. Had a lot of zip on the ball that time. I'm talking about Matt Robinson. He was just uh, a hair off in the, in the throw to uh, Derek Gaffney. It's been a great catch if he'd have been able to cover. In the fourth quarter, Dallas leading St. Louis 19-14. Well, St. Louis has come back a couple of times in that ball game. Jim Hart has thrown two touchdown passes for Dallas leading. Bruce Harper and Clark Gaines are the two running backs. It's second and 15, passing down. Barkham in motion. Draw. Harper for the first down. Oliver Davis finally stopped him at the 36-yard line. Well, I'll tell you, his speed got him some extra yards on that one. Linebacker 52, Ambrose is coming. And watch this move on Clarence Scott, 22. He was going one way, but just couldn't make the adjustment coming back to make the, the tackle on number 42, Bruce Harper, coming up with a big first down. First down and 10, a gain of 18 out to the 36-yard line. Now Turkey and Long are the two running backs. The Jets will alternate four men in the backfield. Thanks, Roberts in the throw. And he is sacked for the second time. Alzado with his second sack of the ball game. The thing about Alzado, number 77 of the Cleveland Browns, is he is a man that's going to be coming after you every play. A lot of fine defensive players will ease up every once in a while. Not that man. He's not going to ease up. And he should not be in good shape right now. No, I was going to ask. It is warm. The humidity is 77 degrees. Now, will that get to Elias Alzado? It should because he hadn't been in training camp that long. He's only been in training camp for about a week. Second and 17. <laughs> Rob 
Robinson throws. It's there. Markham down at the 40-yard line. Merritt Scott making the tackle. So it will be third down in the neighborhood of six yards to go for the first down. A pickup of 11 on the play. Number 83, Jerome Barkham is a key man in the passing attack because I'll, here's one reason. He's an outstanding receiver. Secondly, when you have a guy like Wesley Walker, number 85, defensively you must double cover him. That means that a man like Jerome Barkham is going to get single coverage. 13 seconds remaining in the first quarter. of the pattern. Deep and long and incomplete. Barkham, the intended receiver, a flag goes down. Yeah. Barkham never saw the ball. They will call offensive pass interference, and I it, And it was. It, one official didn't see it, but it was definitely that, but it was a good play by number 83, yes, because don't give the ball to the opposition. He'd take the penalty, come on back, at least give us another shot at it. That will be the call. He was hanging this ball all up in the air. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was a terrible pass. <laughs> but I was trying to be kind. But right there, as you can see, Jerome Barkham is saying, "I can't get it. I don't know where it is. You look like you're going to catch it, Clarence." Clarence got 22, so I'm going to interfere. Offensive pass interference. It is refused, so it is fourth down. And Ramsey, Chuck Ramsey, is in the kick. He does not use a kicking shoe this year. And Keith Wright is dropping back. And Ramsey's punch vastly improved in preseason when he went back to his college style of not using a shoe. And he sails a beauty. Oh, into the end zone. Now that kick was some 70 yards in the air. And time runs out into the first quarter. The score, Cleveland 7, the Jets 7. We'll be right back after these messages from your local station. Wednesday, real people exposes the never Because the Browns passed him up. They had a chance to draft him before the Jets took him, and he says he wants to prove that the Browns made a mistake. Cleveland from the 20-yard line. Mike Floyd carries, and he picks up three to the 23. What happened in that situation... Cleveland had an opportunity to pick him. They wanted instead Willis Adams. They made a switch with a draft choice with the San Diego Chargers so that the Chargers could pick up the tight end, which uh, the Browns did not need because of Ozzie Newsom. So then they went for the wide receiver, and there was, uh, there was a little speculation about Lyons. Lyons said that one of the coaches of the Cleveland Browns informed him that he was going to be the first one selected by them if they had the chance. This goes to prove you can't believe everything you hear. <laughs> That's right. Second and seven. Side. Good protection. Throws on target. Great throw. Six, one, two. Drop. 25 yard line. Out of excitement, just a couple of yards. It'll be third down and five. Stan Blinka finally got it. So Brian Seif is now three for three. And it's, it makes pretty good sense to go to that man, number 34, Greg Pruitt, because he was he was hemmed in, but he, he escaped a couple of guys before they finally came and made the tackle. But the Jets know this. When he has the football, you better get some gang tackling over. Get some people over there because you don't want one-on-one -on, -one on Pruitt. Walt Michaels claims this is the number that he wears. Because that's Walt Michaels' old number when he played. Passes. Intercepted. Owens has it. Pruitt flipped. Owens came right over the top for the interception. Big break for the New York Jets. Well, you talk about, look what I found. Burgess Owens is an outstanding safety man for the New York Jets, but Pruitt slipped on that play. And I think probably why he did is because, Charlie, you know what? It rained earlier in the day, and that part of the field was not covered by the tarp. So it could be a little slick out there on the grass. Taking a look, and you can see that he's coming. You can see that Pruitt 34 fell down. 22, Burgess Owens coming up with a big interception. Great field position for the Jets. With a 12-yard line, Kevin Long inside the five. Where it's Scott makes the tackle. Officials were spotted right at the five-yard line. I tell you, Kevin Long, when uh, they're saying particularly out, he's not too happy about that last play. But that's that's just that's just one of the things that happened. The man slipped. But you take a look at Kevin Long. He's going now when he makes his mind up and sees the hole. Hey, I'm going now. I'm I'm not going to dance around. I'm getting as far as I possibly can and as quickly as I can. Second and three at the five-yard line. 
Scott Durkee. They'll mark it down inside the one. Yeah, but that could be enough for first down. They could have first and goal now. About a half a yard away. First down, goal to go. 25, Scott Kirking. Breaking inside a good block by number 68, Eric Cunningham, a rookie, making the start here this afternoon. So Scott Durkee coming up with a big play. They've got four, they got to figure they've got at least four shots to get in now. Only two points. over the top. Jets have the lead. Nine to seven extra points still to come. Well, I guess Matt decided to go with his best ball carrier in a situation like that, Charlie. He wasn't going to chance any fumbles and losing any yards on first down. Take a shot there. He could actually take two quarterback shots, but he didn't make it. And he had two more plays, really, from that situation to try to get it in. Because you got to figure you got four downs. You're inside the two-yard line. you got four downs to make a touchdown. Tim Moresco to a hold. Pat Leahy with the extra point attempt. Flags are down. It is blocked. Alzado is hurt. He is still down. And there were two markers on the play. Cleveland, Cleveland was offside, so they will kick over. Well, he might have knocked the wind out of him, Charlie. You're supposed to block it with your hands, not your stomach. Right through the middle. That's the spot that a kicker doesn't want to see. Oh, oh yes. In the bread basket. <laughs> Looks like he's healthy to me, <laughs> Huh? Okay. Cleveland was offside. He'll take it out on the quarterback. I'll say it was his hands right. on. <laughs> Obviously, somebody else's fault. And here's the extra point attempt again. It is done. The score, the New York Jets 10, the Cleveland Browns 7. We'll be back to Shea Stadium in a moment. Next Saturday on NBC Sports World. Be sure to stay with us. New Saturday after the baseball. All right, Ricky Feature and Keith Wright are the two deep backs on the return. And Pat Leahy will be kicking off. We have 12 minutes and 11 seconds left in the first half. The Jets lead Cleveland. By three, keep right on the return. 15, 20, 25, 30, good return. 37 yard line. Dave, excellent blocking out in front of, of Keith Wright on that play by the Cleveland Browns. That's a sign of a, a well-coached football team because they he took that ball about five yards deep in the end zone. A lot of times they're told if it's that deep, down it in the end zone, don't take a chance. But he brought it all the way out to about the 37 yard line. Good Ball, field position. Paul Darby and Johnny Lynn with the tackle for the Jets. So Cleveland, first down, their own 37-yard line. They trail by three, 10 to seven. Ryan Seif, the quarterback. Reggie Rucker shows motion. Seif, good fake, throws, has a man open. Dave Logan, first down. Dan Blinker, the middle linebacker, makes the stop on Dave Logan from Colorado, 6'4", 216 pounds. He makes a very nice target out there because of his size. This is the first game that he's had an opportunity to work the full game. I, Brian told us, uh, Sype told us that they played a little bit in the last ball game, but he's been out with a, a leg problem. Dave Logan, Reggie Rucker, and Ozzie Newsom, all three receivers, the two wide receivers that tied in, have excellent speed. the New York 47-yard line. Mike Brewer and Stan Blinka makes the tackle, the middle linebacker for the New York Jets. This man has is, is improved greatly over the last couple of years. Mike Pruitt, the number one draft choice out of Purdue University, has come along slowly, but now he's uh, becoming more and more of an integral part of this Cleveland Brown offensive unit. He's got to block. He's got to be able to block because we have Greg Pruitt in the back backfield. This man, Sam Bertigliano, wants to get the football through it. And wisely so. Second and three. Greg Pruitt 
close to the first down. I believe he's got it. Lawrence Pillars brings him down. First down. 37-yard line, first down. Here is a note for the viewers in Cleveland. There has been a change on the times of two of the Cleveland games. Cleveland at Houston on September the 30th. This is for a television time. It will be a 1 o'clock start. And Pittsburgh at Cleveland on October the 7th is now a 4 o'clock game. If you'll file those two notes away. Sight throws. Has a man. And it is complete. Lindsey Rucker. Oh, that was a fine, fine catch by number 33, Reggie Rucker. This, it proves, too, what concentration is, will do for a great receiver. Now, he followed that ball all the way. This is a quick pass going to the outside, just taking a couple of steps by Brian Seiden, firing that ball out there. And, and it, it was meant that if Reggie didn't catch it, no one was going to catch it. Looked like he was almost throwing the ball away. I've done that on occasion. People come up and make the catch. Second down and a couple at the Jet 29-yard line. Bake on a pitch and a hand to Mike Pruitt, and he's got the first down. Mike Pruitt, number 43. Schaefer Suggs at strong safety and Stan Blinka, the middle linebacker, make the tackle at the 25-yard line, first down. Well, the Cleveland Browns have moved the football each time they had it. Their only problem was the interception, and that came on kind of a freak situation when the running back slipped and fell. And also the Jets have been able to move on offense. There's so been... both clubs starting again where they left off last year. A lot of offense. They both need to show some more defensive work. First down at the 25-yard line of New York. Greg Troy. He cuts back inside. Almost the 20-yard line. Lawrence Pillars, Marty Lyons. The defensive ends were there. You know, because the play does not come to your side does not mean that you can just forget about it and wait for the next play to come. You've got to be all over the field. I'm talking about defensive players. You see Greg Pruitt going back into the into the huddle. But Lyons was one of the, or the defensive men involved in that play, and he came from the right side all the way to the left side. But you, which Number means one you got to hustle. Choice. you got to hustle. Okay. Number one draft choice from Alabama. 6'5", 245 pounds, and has 4'9", speed at 40 yards. Got a safety blitz coming. Throw it. He'll be a couple of yards shy of the first down. This is Greg Throw. Marty Lyons was there along with Burgess Owens. Was it Owens that had the safety blitz on? Burgess Owens was coming, and uh, he... If they had held that count just a, a fraction longer, he wouldn't have been involved in the play because he was going to blitz. He'd be offside if it held it much longer. <laughs> he had a running start. All right, Calvin Hill comes in and Greg Wood comes out at running back. Cleveland receives a good hand here in New York, possibly the Brooklyn connection of the Browns. We'll talk about that. Third down and two. Mike Wood. It is a first down. The head coach, Sam Reticliano, is from Brooklyn. The defensive end, Lyle Alzado, is from Brooklyn. Peter Hadhazy in the front office is from Brooklyn. But probably most important of all, <laughs> Art Bosell, the owner, is from Brooklyn. That may be the reason a lot of those other folks are there in Cleveland. <laughs> There's Sam Reticliano. I know, I know this about Art Modell. He's a Clevelander. He is now, for sure. At the 14-yard line, Seif goes into the end zone. It is knocked away. Good defensive play by the rookie, Donald Dyke. The number three draft choice from Southeast Louisiana, Keith Wright, the intended receiver. Good defensive play. Ryan Seif was going to the flag of the end zone or a corner pattern. He uh, did not throw. You can see the ball wobbling there. The man had his... Had the defensive man beat for a step, the ball had been there a little quicker, it might have been a touchdown. But it was a good defensive play by Donald Dice, number 26 of the Jets. Second and 10 at the New York 14-yard line. Just over seven minutes, time remaining in the first half. Sight throws in the corner and he overthrows Dave Logan. 
Logan had a step on his man, Donald Knight. So they're picking on the rookie at the corner. They're testing him. They had a safety blitz on this time. He got rid of the ball. He had to because Joe Klecko, 73, is giving him a little greeting right there. But as you can see, Logan had a step on number 26, Donald Dykes. Had the ball been on the money, it would have been six. Greg Pruitt comes back in, and Mike Pruitt comes out. Charlie, that shows what a pass rush will do because he had to throw that ball before he was really set and wanted to throw it. Greg Pruitt and Calvin Hill are the two running backs. Logan is wide to the far side. Butcher wide to the near side. Ozzie Newsom the tight end. Into the corner one more time, and he's incomplete. Exactly the same play. Well, what, Going to Logan, trying to just loft it in well, the corner over the defender. I know the people from Cleveland realize that Dave Logan was an outstanding athlete in Colorado. One of the sports he played was basketball. So Brian probably figured that here's a man that has four or five inch advantage over the defensive man. Get it up in the air. His man, number 85, Logan, has just as good a chance of getting it as a defensive man, or a better chance of getting it. Was there a flag down yet? Holding is refused. So now the field goal team will come in. It'll be fourth and ten at the 14-yard line. The kick will come from around the 21. Don Cockroft, the National Football League's all-time most accurate field goal kicker. His average is 67%. Dave Logan holding at the 21. A kick of 31 yards to tie it up. It is good from 31 yards. And the score is now tied. Cleveland 10, the Jets 10, 6.57 left in the first half. 49 yards, 11 plays to the field goal to tie it up at 10-10. With 6.57 left to go in the second quarter. Bruce Harper and Ken Stroy are deep. Now, at this moment, Harper's on the left side of the screen, but when Cockroft kicks off, he could well be on the right side. But they play a little game because they want Harper to get the football. Well, if it's, unless it's completely away from him, he's going to go get it. Troy, number 48, has sure hands back there, but he's back there for another reason. He's back there to block. Got dropped, is now set. Our first circles under it, takes it at the 5. 15, 20, 25. 25 yards and return to about the 30-yard line. Now let's check the NFL scoreboard for other games. It took place earlier this afternoon around the league. There they are. Fourth quarter, Dallas leading St. Louis, 1914. Chicago, Green Bay. All right, we'll update those and also the finals. And let's get back to this game. Jets now from their own 30-yard line. First down. Robinson, under pressure, he'll be sacked. Jerry Shirt got him. That is the third sack of the ball game for the Cleveland Browns. Now, the New York Jets do not have a sack. Last year, the Jets had only 22 all season long, tying Buffalo for the fewest in the league. The Browns had only 31, not that much better. So we have seen that improvement defensively for Cleveland show itself in the statistics. Well, you've seen number game. 77 of the Browns, Lyle Alzado, come up with, I think he's had two sacks already. Right. He's put pressure on the quarterback that last time, linebacker, Clay Matthews, number 57, was blitzing, and that enabled Jerry Shirk to make the make the sack on Matt Robinson. Second and 20, Robinson over the middle, passes incomplete, in and out of the hands of Wesley Walker. Oliver Davis was following him, and Oliver Davis may have been shaken up a bit on the play. This is something you will very seldom see, and that is Wesley Walker dropped the football. Yeah, he was open. The ball was there. Had he made the tackle, and, and, or had he made the catch and broken the tackle of number 21, Oliver Davis, it would have been really a big game. Oliver Davis, Davis <laughs> as I mentioned, shaken up on the play. He's now coming out. Lawrence Johnson taken in the second round of the draft, replacing him third down 20 at the 20-yard line. 
Robinson holds both backs in the block, and he will be dropped at the 16-yard line. Number 77, Lyle Alzado. I told you that Lyle Alzado is the type of ball player that he comes after you 100% all of the time. And you can see Chris Ward, 72, of the Jets. He's a fine offensive tackle, trying to make a move. But look at the strength of Alzado, pushing that man, 270-pound uh, Chris Ward away and making the tackle. That is Alzado's third sack of the ball game, and Chuck Ramsey will be kicking. The wind swirls at Shea Stadium. You really can't get a good read on it. Oh, they oh run! Oh, flag will go down. It will be a penalty against Cleveland. Contact was made on the kicker. Farrell Lyons, number 86, went after the block. Did not get to the football, but he got all of Chuck Ramsey. And you have to touch the football then you can go in. I don't know how he missed it. You can see number 86, Gerald Irons coming in. He was right in a great position, right in front of the kicker. I don't know how he missed the ball, but he did not miss Ramsey, the kicker. It's a good break for the Jets and a very tough break for the Cleveland Browns because they had the pressure on. They had it coming. That was designed like it's designed on the blackboard to go in and block a kick because you're coming the right place right up the middle. The officials spot the ball at the 21-yard line. It is running into the kicker, not roughing, running into the kicker. That is five yards, but an automatic first down. So at the 21-yard line, it is first and 10. Bruce Harper and Clark Gage are the running back. Harper goes inside. Fourth quarter. Chicago leading Green Bay, 6-3. Like a baseball score. Not this one. Fourth quarter, Atlanta, New Orleans. They're tied, 34-34. Rams over Oakland in the second quarter, 14 to nothing. Oh, they... San Diego has had a lot of injury problems. No score between Cincinnati and Denver. Kansas City leading Baltimore in the second quarter. Harper. Matthews makes the tackle. I want to mention about San Diego. Everybody picked them as a playoff ball club, but they have lost three key players thus far. Facing a very tough Seattle team, but if the Chargers can stay close in the first half of the season and get some people back, then... Uh, well, they lost Louis Kelcher. Yeah, well, that's like, losing, that's like losing three when you that's lose right. Louis. That's the one side of the defensive line, almost. Doug Wilkins had an offensive lineman they lost, and they also lost the linebacker. They're down five. Robinson over the middle. It is there. Jerome Barker. First down. 37-yard line. Clarence Scott makes the tackle. Jets on their own 37-yard line. First down. Number 52, Dick Ambrose, is the middle linebacker. And that's, that's who number 17, Matt Robinson, is key. He's going down. He's getting enough yardage for the first down. Just turning around and hooking because number 22, Clarence Scott, has him man-to-man. -man. The reason he has him man-to-man -man is because, I said earlier, number 85, Wesley Walker's on that Jet team, and they're going to double cover him. The ball game tied at 10-10 between the Browns and the Jets. First down, New York, their own 37. Good play. Good play. Oh, yes, yes. Good you, move. You like that, don't you? Uh, it's a smart move. That's an intelligent move. He had a... Uh, bootleg there when everybody was going the other way and I'm sure he just told his back I'm going to keep the ball but you can see number 57 is Clay Matthews he is fooled completely by it and here comes Matt Robinson now he's going to get as much yard as he, yardage as he can and then he's doing the wise thing but he shouldn't slow down there you better keep moving because defensive men have a tendency even though you're out of bounds to hit you anyway when you say good move I didn't know whether he meant the bootleg or the way he got out of bounds <laughs> well, both of them. getting out of bounds is a smart First down, Jets on 47-yard line. Pass is complete. Wow. Derek Gaffney just scooped it off the turf. Ron Bolton was there for Cleveland. This is a quick pass by number 17, Matt Robinson, getting it out there. He's winding up the ball. And look, his thumb has to be bothering. Look at that ball, how it's wobbling out there. Looks I'm, like not, I'm not sure if he didn't short hop that ball. If Kenny Fouts, our director, can just back that up. Maybe we can see. Thank you, Kenny. Right there. Now let's see. 
Well, he did get his hands on her. Good call by the official. Cleveland, 49-yard line. Second down, about six, and Gaines will be wrapped up at the line of spirit. Jerry Shirk just jumped on his shoulder. May get a yard at the 48. I had mentioned number 72 of the Cleveland Browns, Jerry Shirk is really important because he solidifies. Now look at Randy Rasmussen was taking a, uh, an angle on him. Shirk just zipped past him into the backfield, got penetration, and made the tackle. That time, number 72, Shirk gets right, Randy gets wrong. Mark it at the 48-yard line of Cleveland. Third down, five. 226, time remaining, first half. Ball game tied at 10-10. Delay over the middle, Clark Gage. Dick Ambrose makes the tackle, 37-yard line. It's a good play. You can see a game between Lyle House 80, 77, 72, Jerry Shirk. They're crisscrossing or changing their, their lanes to rush the passer. But wide open was number 21, Clark Gaines, and coming up with a big play and a first down. Robinson just got the ball off in time. And the two-minute warning is now given to both benches. And we'll take a timeout. And we're tied up at Shea. 10-10. Sports World next Saturday, the Marlboro Cup and the IAF World Series at track and field for Brussels. The 10,000. The what? The Brussels 10,000. Gotcha. All right, this is number 92, Rich Dibbler, the rookie from USC, fifth-round draft choice. He has replaced Mickey Sims, a defensive left tackle in this series. Jets at the Cleveland 37, first down, and whistle sound. Flags are down. The legal procedure against New York, that'll be for a movement by an interior lineman. That's an automatic call. Let's go back to Sports World. New time. It's now on Saturdays after the baseball game. Here's the call from the referee. And he was having microphone problems. We're not picking it up. But anyway, that's what it was. False start. It's on Chris Ward. On the AAF World Series of Dragon Field on Sports World, we had the Oslo Mile. You saw Sebastian Coe, 349 flat. So the Zurich Sprints, and that's coverage of that same race. You saw Sebastian go set the world record at 1,500. And we now go to Brussels at the 10,000. That'll be on next Saturday. Robinson drops it off. Pass is complete to Bruce Harper. And he is down inside the 40-yard line. Pass is complete, but not for very much. Generally, the, uh, the running backs, the responsibility of covering the running back is a linebacker, and the linebackers were out on him that time. Clay Matthews is the man who got him. It'll be second down 12. 39-yard line at Cleveland. One twenty-four. time remaining, first half. Robinson deep over the middle. Pass is oh, yes, Anthony, a one-hand catch. Pulls it down. 23-yard line, first down. Jets are ready to go. Charlie, he's got to be smiling after that one. That was a great catch. New York takes the timeout. 1.08, time remaining. And you can take a look here. It's not well thrown because it's thrown behind him. And this, this is what concentration is. Look at his head. Look at his eyes. It's looking right at that football. Now what he has to do is worry about how he's going to yeah, land. Yeah. Look, <laughs> look at the ground. We'll be back in a moment. We're tied. You want to know what a great catch is? Here's one. The ball is not thrown well. It's wobbly. It's thrown behind. But number 81, Derek Gaffney. That's a tremendous. That's a Super Bowl catch right there. And great coverage by our cameramen here. Yes, They're sir. all on our line. Thank you, man. And also to Mike Weissman, Kenny Fouts in the truck. All right, first down, Jets. 23-yard line. The draw. It'll lose at least a yard. While Alzado was there to stop Clark Gay. Well, they've got the, this is their two-minute drill. They've got less than one minute remaining in the football game. They had two plays called, hoping that they would break that one, but it didn't work. They probably have a pass play now. Second and 11. 
into coverage, tipped away, no good. He is not throwing that ball well. That ball is floating. He's not getting a good rotation on the football, and I'm sure that Walt Michaels is taking a very close look at the, at uh, Matt Robinson. You're seeing you're seeing Scott Durking right there, but uh, Durking's the intended receiver, and Matthews broke it up. But watch the pass. Yeah. He's bringing that ball way down around his hip and throwing it. Look at how it's wobbling down there, and it it isn't it isn't getting to the receiver with any velocity on it. And I've seen him throw before. We saw him throw a couple of weeks ago, and that's not the same Matt Robinson. Actually, Durking is the one that knocked the ball away or would have been intercepted. That's a good play by uh, by Scott Durkin. Third down and 11. Jets have thrown 24. 44 seconds left to go, first half. Robinson drops it off, right flat. Good play. Clark Gage. He will come up shy of the first down. Oh, he shouldn't call timeout now. It's fourth down. They got to go for the field goal. <laughs> It'll be fourth down and a couple of jets at the timeout. 31 seconds left. We'll be back to Shea Stadium in a moment. We're tied at 10 10. Hey, see you all down the road, Jack. <laughs> Saturday, it'll either be Baltimore against the Red Sox or the Dodgers against the Reds on baseball coverage. We're now back to football coverage from the 22-yard line and a attempt of 32 yards by Leahy. He is hit already from 35 yards out. This one is up. It is no good. It is no good. It is off to the right. So Leahy misses from 32 yards away. And can, Cleveland will take over. You can see what happens to field goal kickers when they miss. Their heads are down. No one will greet them over there. You don't have to look at the official to see whether it's any good or not. All you have to do is watch the kicker right there. He'll tell you whether it's good or not. 28 seconds left in the half. We'll be back in a moment. Be sure to stay with us at halftime. NFL 79 will be updating all the scores across the NFL. Today, they'll also have some highlights. Sight throws on first down from his own 20-yard line. And it is complete to Beecher at the 32-yard line. Bob Martin was there for New York. It is a first down. 22 seconds on the clock. You know, when when they called time, when the Jets called timeout earlier, Charlie, I thought it was a mistake because they should have just let it run down. The only thing they were going to do is kick a field goal or attempt to it. Now they have uh, 22 seconds left which they would not have had if they'd let the clock run down. That's not to say that they're going to do anything, but at least they have the opportunity now, but they would not have if they hadn't called time out so quickly. Sight to throw. Lots of time. Goes deep. Tip incomplete. Ozzie Newsom, the intended receiver. <laughs> Excuse me. Schaefer Suggs knocks it away. It'll be second down and 10 back at the Cleveland 32-yard line good point that you made because you simply do not want to give another ball club an opportunity to have the football let it run down about five seconds and you kick the field goal and if you miss it's halftime look how many games last year crazy games in the last uh, play or next to the last play that changed the complexion of the ball game that uh, won it i could think of new orleans atlanta two ball games where last play of the ball game won it for the atlanta falcons Second and ten. Sipe is hit. Pass is incomplete. He just threw that one away. Or either that or one of the receivers went in a direction that Brian didn't anticipate him going in. It'll be third down and ten. Now we have ten seconds left in the first half. Don Cockroft for the Browns with a 31-yard field goal. Pat Leahy for the Jets with a 35-yard field goal. A Sipe to Greg Pruitt. Pass. And Robinson in from a half a yard out on a short drive after Burgess Owens picked off an interception. That's been the score. We got him overloaded on the right side here. Three uh, wide receivers on the same side. Sipe to Logan. It is intercepted. Burgess Owens has his second interception of the ball game. And they're pushing and shoving in front of the Cleveland men. The clock is stopped now with two seconds. Jerry Shirt was in there, along with Doug Deacon, Greg Buttle for the New York Jets. But after they sort them all out, the Jets will have the football. Now that all he was trying to do there, I'm talking about 
Ryan Cyphers put that ball up in the air, and he had number 85, Dave Logan, out there hoping that he would come up with it. And Burgess Owens, his second interception of the ball game. The Jets now at the Cleveland 49-yard line. Two seconds left in the first half. Well, I'm sure what he ought to do is go back. Number 85 is Wesley Walker. Look at the defensive men there, 30 yards deep, because he should just put the ball up in the air and hope. Four-man rush. He's in trouble. Breaks loose. Now he's got time to throw. He goes deep. It is tipped incomplete. Ron Bolton knocks it away. Gaffney, the intended receiver. That is the end of the first half. The score is Cleveland 10 and the New York Jets 10. The key would have to be the turnovers, the two interceptions by Burgess Owen. Two, two, and the one was really a big one. The second interception really didn't mean much, but the one gave the uh, the Jets a touchdown. And I think look at the time of possession. There's a five-minute difference. The New York Jets had the football. First downs are reasonably close. Rushing offense, the Jets a little more. Passing offense, the Browns a little more. Total offense for the New York Jets side. Side completing 6 of 13, and Robinson completing 8 of 14. But as you pointed out, Lenny, he simply is not throwing the ball that well, and they do have Richard Todd. Will we see him in the fourth quarter if it's still close? I, there's a possibility, but Walt Michaels is the type of individual that when he names a quarterback, he goes with that quarterback until something indicates he should get him out. Number 89 is Keith Wright for the Cleveland Browns. Number 83 is Ricky Feature. And Pat Leahy will be kicking off to start the second half. It is Cleveland 10 and the New York Jets 10 at halftime. I was just going to say, Charlie, with all those stats, they were so close to indicate maybe it's a close ball game. And I wonder if we look 30 minutes of action away, we're looking at an overtime possibility. They, they played one last year. Last time they met, they certainly did. Five-yard line is Keith Wright, 20. 25, 30. Near the 50-yard line on the return, Tim Moresco finally stopped it. Cleveland's ball at their own 49-yard line. I tell you, I'm really impressed with uh, Keith Wright, number 89 of the, of the Browns, and number 42, Bruce Harper of the Jets. When they get that football, they are headed toward the goal line in the opposite direction. They have turned on the afterburners. And they've come up with, I'm talking about both sides, they've come up with great field position for the offensive units. Here's near the 50-yard line. Ryan Seifert, the quarterback. Greg Wood and Mike Wood, the running back. Reggie Rucker, Dave Logan, Ozzie Newsom, the receiver. Good fake. Logan. 47-yard line. He will pick up four yards. It will be second and six. Donald Dykes makes the tackle. The fans think that he fumbled it. But when you come down and make contact with the ground, if you have possession, then the ball is dead. This is a quick screen. Getting the ball out to number 85, Dave Logan. But he has one man to beat. The, the offensive lineman doesn't quite get there, but he's scratching and trying to. That's Doug Deacon. But up over the top, I know that uh, Donald Dykes isn't that tall, but Dave's got to figure he's a little taller than that to try to hurdle him up there. Second down and six. Bruins sweep right side. No gain. He is stacked up. Greg Buttle was there and Schaefer Suggs moved up from the secondary. No, they'll mark it for it. No, it is no gain. The 47-yard line. Third down and six. At offensive line, Doug Deacon, George Beeler, Tom DeLeon, Robert E. Jackson, and Henry Shepard for the Browns. Defensively, for the Jets, Lawrence Pillars, Joe Pellegrini, Joe Klecko, and Marty Lyons. Up front, Greg Buttle, Stan Blinka, and Bob Martin, the linebacker. Bobby Jackson, Donald Dyke, Safer Suggs, and Burgess Owens in the secondary. Third and six. Slides down. Five on the pattern. Logan incomplete. You mentioned it's a free play. A free play. Ryan Seif knew that the defensive line jumped off sides. He knew that they were going to get a five-yard penalty regardless of what happened. He threw into a crowd there. Ordinarily, you wouldn't throw into a, a crowd like he did when, when three defensive men were around the receiver. But he knew that no matter what happened, he was going to come back and pick up five yards. He's 
changing the cadence too, which is really good. If you get that defense, defense offside, tuned to a certain cadence count, you change up. A lot of times, you'll catch those defensive men moving. And that's what happened on that play. So it's third and one. Carl Weather, Curtis Weathers comes in. Calvin Hill comes in. Two tight ends. Full house backfield. Mike Croy. And he'll pick up the first down as he goes to the 40-yard line. Stan Blake of the middle linebacker along with Joe Pellegrini and Joe Pleco make the tackle. Number 43, Mike Pruitt out of Purdue University. Now, he he was told on that one, just, hey, just get moving. Go as hard and as fast as you possibly can when you only need a half a yard. Hopefully, the offensive line will have a standoff. And that back will surge forward for at least a yard for the first down. That's what happened that time. And the Jets 40-yard line first down. Five out of the pattern. To Logan all alone has it. Good move. Gets an extra six or seven yards. Dave Logan in his fourth year from Colorado. Well, I'll tell you, Brian Seid did an excellent job of getting this ball off because Joe Cueco was coming, but it was a good throw right on the number. Brother, that's where you want the football. And now coming up with a good move, picking up a couple of extra yards. But I said number 73 is, is Joe Cueco. Now, he's much like Al Zato. He's coming all the time. And Seid, this is... This is what I get for my efforts, eh? At the New York 17-yard line, first down, Cleveland. Sight to throw again. He's got him. He's got his throw. How's he And Cleveland has the lead. This is Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson at Shea Stadium, and Brian Seib, a touchdown pass to Ozzie Newsom. He's it picked. covered 17 yards. Here it is. Wide open, a fine pass, right, right where you want it, and look at that. Number 82 is Ozzie Newsom looking the ball all the way. He had his man beat. It was with a, a pattern toward the corner of the end zone. As you can see, the ball is perfectly thrown. Number 22 is Burgess Owens. He didn't have a chance. That is Newsom's first catch of the ball game. 51 yards of the drive in five plays. Extra point is no good, but there is a play. So we'll have a look at the penalty here. Penalty against Cleveland, it is refused. They missed the extra point. So the score, the Browns 16, the Jets 10, 11.55 left to go, third quarter. Brian Seif has now completed nine of 16 passes for 105 yards, two touchdowns, and he has been intercepted twice. Well, Bruce last, Harper and Ken Troy are deep. Go ahead. The last pass was really an excellent pass by Brian Seifert. It was a good call, too, because the play-action pass on first down, he came up with man-to-man -man coverage on Ossie Newsom. Cockcroft kicks off. It goes through the legs of Harper. He picks it up. He's back to the 10, 15, 18-yard line. So New York has the ball on their own 18-yard line. First and 10, Ricky Feature making the tackle, along with Clinton Burrell. Now for the Jets, first opportunity on offense, second half, with Matt Robinson, the quarterback. Scott Durking and Kevin Long will be the running back. Derek Gaffney, Wesley Walker, the wide receivers, Jerome Barkham, the tight end. Offensive line, Chris Ward, Randy Rasmussen, Joe Fields, Eric Cunningham, and Marvin Powell. Robinson to Walker, and he is dumped immediately by Clay Matthews. They started out the second half just like the Cleveland Browns did with a quick screen out to the sidelines to a wide receiver, but that time two players defensively, 21 Oliver Davis, the cornerback, and number 57 Clay Matthews, the linebacker for the Cleveland Browns. They were going to have none of that. They played it very, very well. Loss of a yard, second and 11. Mickey Sims is back in at left tackle. So it's Mike St. Clair, Mickey Sims, Jerry Shirt, and Lyle Alzado, that front four for Cleveland. Pass is high, pulled down by Gaffney. Picks up the first down. 
Gaffney with his second outstanding reception. The first one in the first half was great. This was outstanding. Well, I'll tell you, Matt Robinson is not putting the ball where he wants to, and I'm, I, I believe that the thumb is bothering him. The ball takes off. It's high. It's a fine catch by number 81, Derek Gaffney. Really, it's good coverage by the defensive uh, back of the Cleveland Browns. That's the, that's the second, I think the third really good catch of him. He scooped one off the ground once, too. You're right. Kevin Long jumps to the outside, cannot get around as the free safety Tom Dart moved up to bring it. Oh, that was a fine play by number 27, Tom Dart, coming up with that tackle because had Kevin Long been able to get outside of him, he probably would have picked up a first down. All right, let me set the rest of the Browns' defense. Charlie Hall, Dick Ambrose, and Clay Matthews are the linebackers. Ron Bowles and Oliver Davis on the corners. Clarence Scott and Tom Darden at safety. Now, in case some of our viewers joined us later, after this play, would you point out the problems again of Matt Robinson, the Jets quarterback? Yes, sir. All right. Lurkis Owens in motion. Scott Durkee. Near the 40-yard line and near a first down, Dick Ambrose, the middle linebacker, is the man who stops it. Now, you were talking about uh, Matt Robinson, number 17, the quarterback of the Jets. What happened? He won the starting job over Richard Todd, but a day or two, uh, I guess two days ago, he injured the thumb on his throwing hand, and there was a lot of question as to whether he would play today. He hadn't taken a snap. They took a look at him in the... Uh, practice prior to the, the start of the game and he's able to take it but he has not been throwing the ball well today that, that, that thumb is bothering him that right thumb is all taped up he may go right step. he is caught from behind by Oliver Davis 20 yard line 21 yard line of Cleveland short yardage situation they're all coming toward the quarterback are getting penetration in the backfield. That's what happens if you break that line of scrimmage. There's nobody there, and only the great speed of number 21, Oliver Davis, locked down Scott Durkin, preventing a touchdown. It was third down and one. And it is now first down at the Cleveland 21-yard line. Play action, pass complete over the middle to Jerome Barker. Trying to get that middle linebacker, Charlie. Trying to fake, hold that middle linebacker, come up and hit that tight end quickly. Trying to freeze the linebackers. That time it worked. And even at that, the pass is completed. And I've seen some people like Bobby Lane and Billy Kilmer throw passes that never had a spiral on it. But I've seen Matt Robinson throw before, and he does. And he does it today. First down. Just outside the 10 yard line. Bruce Harper. Harper to the set. Clay Matthews with a tackle. Well, I'll tell you, number 42, Bruce Harper, is not a real large man. 5'8, 177 pounds. But I think when he took off and made his cut on that run, he thought he was 230 because he was lowering his head and his shoulder going straight ahead. Now, the ball at the six-yard line, and it is conceivable the Jets, if in the next three plays, do not score, could still pick up a first down about a half a yard away from the goal line. Kevin Long is the remaining back. And Long carries. Harper with a block, and he is overwhelmed on the left side, as is Kevin Long. Bruce Harper on the left side was trying to put up a block. It was a valiant effort, but he was just pushed aside, and Tom Darden, Oliver Davis came up to stop the play. Now Clark Gage will come in. Kevin Long comes out. The line of scrimmage is now the nine-yard line, and it's third down. Third down and eight and a half to go for a first down. And of course, third down and nine, plus a few inches for a score. and may throw to the corner. No, swing pass. Game. Seven yard line. Number 59, Charlie Hall, the linebacker for the Cleveland Browns. Give him a lot of credit because he was not going to let Gaines, number 21 Clark Gaines, get outside on him. He prevented him from getting downfield. Field goal team is in. Tim Moresco to hold, Pat Leahy to kick. Pat Leahy, the field goal. 
from the 14-yard line in a depth of 24 yards. Thirty-one time remaining, third quarter. It is up, and it is good. So the score, the Browns 16, the Jets 13. Here at Shea Stadium, we'll be back with a kickoff in a moment. Sports World on Saturday. Throughout the football season, on our new day after baseball, and this Saturday, the Marlboro Cup, the IAF World Series of Track and Field from Brussels, and the FINA, the FINA World Cup Swimming Championships from Tokyo. Ricky Feature, number 83, and Keith Wright, number 89. The deep backs for the Browns, as Pat Leahy will be kicking off. Charlie Leahy's been doing a good job kicking. He's gotten it about four yards deep in the end zone most of the time, and it's going in there again. Ricky Feature on the return to the 15, 20. About the 24-yard line. Ken Troy tripped him up. Neither quarterback has an incomplete pass in the second half. We haven't seen the punter for the Cleveland Browns, have we? Evans? Johnny, Johnny Evans? Evans, we certainly haven't. That's right. Does he kick with both shoes on? Or? As far <laughs> as I know, we haven't seen him. Yes, he does. <laughs> Cleveland now from their own 23-yard line first down, and they have been able to move. About the 29-yard line. Greg Buttle and Stan Blank are the two linebackers stopping. Second down and four. Cleveland Browns, they get that running attack going. Uh, not only are they moving the ball and scoring points, but they're taking up a lot of time on that clock. It isn't a big factor right now with less than six minutes remaining, but the next quarter it's going to be. left and he is cut from behind by Joe Klecko. That was a good play by the defensive unit of the Jets in particular. I think number 93, here he is, 93, Marty Lyons, a rookie. Now Doug Deacon, 73, is the, the offensive tackle trying to block him, but he's stringing out the plays. You can see right there and comes up with a big hit, coming up with a tackle. It's an outstanding play by that young rookie. I guess he meant it, Charlie, when he said he wanted to... Uh, Show the Cleveland Browns they might have made a mistake by not selecting them when they had a chance. No gain, third down four. Tight to throw. It is there. Reggie Rucker. Rucker to the 50. Needs one block. Does not get the block, and Bobby Jackson pushes him out of bounds. Oh, I'll tell you, if Dave Logan should have kept his feet, he shouldn't have left his feet and just kept running with him. Good throw by number 17, Brian Seif. Reggie Rucker, 33, making the play. Now going downfield, number 85 is Dave Logan of the Cleveland Browns. And you see that number 40 is Bobby Jackson. Logan left his feet. Had he stayed, been able to stay on his feet and shield him, perhaps Reggie Rucker could have cut back inside and score. At the New York 38-yard line, first down Cleveland. But Charlie, I'm sure the Browns are happy to be on where they are. Quick screen. Keep right, the speedster, down the sideline. Boy, he could fly. He ran right by Donald Dice, number 26. I think Dice was looking for him to make a move, and he just caught the ball and took off. Gain of 13, first down. Quick screen out to number 89, which is Keith Wright. And right here, he just takes off, and I think that right there, 26, Donald Dice is looking for perhaps a move or cutting back to the inside. Bob Martin finally got him, 25-yard line of New York. Sam Reticliano, he has done a great job with the Cleveland Browns. And he always gives you about three opening lines for your telecast. Yeah. <laughs> Rick Pruitt. Runs out of blockers, and he picks up maybe two. Dan Blake brings him down. Marty Lyons was also there, and Schaefer Suggs was there for the secondary. Well, I'll tell you, number 93, Marty Lyons is all over the field. It's Walt Michaels is uh, not too happy at the present time because his defense has not been able to to hold the Cleveland Browns, his old football team. But number 93, Marty Lyons, is, he is primed right now for a reverse. Now, 89, Keith Wright, is in the ball game, And he is in the slot left side with Logan split away. 
second and nine. Greg Pruitt goes away from the slot. There's a flag down. He almost breaks it at the 15-yard line, but there was a flag down in the neighborhood of the 20. Last year in the overtime game, all of the yardage, including the kickoff return leading to the field goal that won it for the Browns over the Jets, was by number 34, Greg Pruitt. Walt Michaels, when he played for the Browns, wore number 34. He said they should have retired my number. It was the number that did it last year. And Pruitt is doing it again this year. He's having a great ball game. Walt Michaels, I played with him in Cleveland. Right, I was there and watched him play. Now, he was an outstanding linebacker, but he didn't have the moves that Mr. Pruitt. Holding, number 65. Holding on Henry Shepard, the right tackle. So bring it back to the 34-yard line. It'll be second down, 19. And Mark Gastineau comes in at defensive left end. Second round draft choice from East Central Oklahoma. That's an Ada, Oklahoma. And he is a designated rusher. They also brought in uh, number 38, Ed Taylor, an additional defensive back. They're in their, their nickel defense or prevent defense. Second and 19. Four on the pattern. Deep over the middle to Rucker. Oh. He holds up. A fantastic catch. I thought Derek Gaffney came up with a great catch, and he did. But Reggie Rucker just came up with a superb catch that, on that last play. Number 17, Brian Sipe going back. He's got plenty of time to throw. He's looking over the field. Fires the ball. Jackson well good covered. Cover. Well covered. He hangs onto the ball while falling down. Great catch. You talked about head and eyes of Gaffney. You watch the same thing with Rucker. Concentration all the way. 12-yard line, first down. Greg Troy. Eight-yard line. Picks up about four. Burgess Owens makes the tackle, and Greg Battle was also there. Number 99 is is uh, Mark Gastineau. He's a young rookie. He's a very aggressive individual. Now, there are certain things you don't do or you shouldn't do. And one of them is this. Now, that's a quarterback talking, right? Well, not only that, but the ball is gone. He could have had a, a flag thrown. It had been an additional 15 yards. Once the man doesn't have the ball, particularly the quarterback, you're not supposed to pound up and beat up on him. At the nine-yard line, second and seven. Gastino almost got sight, set him up, and Klecko did. Bob Martin was also there, but it was Gastino that really set it up. And that will be the first sack for the New York Jets. Well, I'll tell you, Gastino is an enthusiastic individual out there. There was some speculation that he wouldn't even play. But you're taking a look at Joe uh, Klecko trying to catch his breath. Number 99, Mark Gastino apparently uh, injured his shoulder. He came in with a sling on, and they didn't know whether he was going to play, but... As they say, when the bell rings. That's right. He is there. That's what you call a player. Regardless of how he feels on Sunday, he's going to get out and shoot up the block play. Third down, 17. At the Jet 19-yard line. Going into the corner to Logan. He can't get to him. And pressure was put on by Bob Martin. He was blitzing. He dropped Sipe. Sipe turned in, I believe, to Mike Pruitt and said, you were supposed to pick him up. Somebody's supposed to pick him up, not me. He did the wise thing of just getting getting rid of the football. He didn't have a chance on this one. He even gets set. Here you see 59 Bob Martin coming in right in his face, so he's just unloading the ball. Somebody's supposed to pick him up is, is true. Generally, it's a back's responsibility to pick up a linebacker. And now Don Cockrock, field goal attempt of 36 yards. He is hit from 31 yards out. It is good from 36 yards away. It is now Cleveland 19, the Jets 13. We'll be back to Shea in a moment. A doubleheader on NBC again next week. So be sure to check your local listings and following the kickoff as you look at Walt Michaels, head coach of the Jets, We'll be giving you a rundown of all of the games that we'll be covering next Sunday. Walt didn't look very happy, did he? No, he didn't. Harper and Stroy are deep. 
And it'll be Bruce Harper at the nine yard line. To the 20, 25, 30, 35, 37, 38 yard line. An excellent return by Bruce Harper. Pat Moriarty of the Browns is the man who made the tackle. Moriarty from Georgia Tech is a free agent. Now, we mentioned the doubleheader. Here are the games. Of course, it'll all start with NFL 79 at 12.30 Eastern time. First half, well, we'll be in New England for the Jets-New England game. Also, there's Houston at Pittsburgh, Cincinnati at Buffalo. Second half, Oakland, San Diego, Seattle, Miami, Cleveland, Kansas City. So check the local listings in your area for the game that you'll, the two games that you'll be watching. Play fast. Game. Robinson has all the time in the world and it's intercepted. Play Matthews. Matthews to the 45, 40, 35, 30, 25. He takes a lot of time when he makes his interception. He's following his blockers down there. He's running like a fullback. Matt Robinson did not see number 57, Clay Matthews. He was looking to go to Wesley Walker from the beginning, but Wesley Walker is flushed out of the pocket, as you can see here. Number 77, once again, Lyle Alzado putting some heat on, but he, he didn't see Clay Matthews at all. He was looking for his receiver. And that's the thing that the quarterback has to do is pick up the defensive end first. 121 left of the third quarter. We've got a timeout. I will be back to Shea Stadium in a moment. If women shave men's faces, we can... Well in the game. No, I think his thumb is definitely bothering him. He tried to throw across the field or across the grain on that last pass, and that's it's always a dangerous move to do that. Matthews with the interception. Cleveland at the Jets' 24-yard line. Rucker in motion. Greg Pruitt, good hold. 21-yard line. He has three. It'll be second down seven. We pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. This is Charlie Jones and Lynn Dawson in New York, where the Cleveland Browns lead the New York Jets 19-13. Schaefer Suggs making the last tackle. Cleveland has the ball of New York 21-yard line. Second and seven. Side gives to Greg Pruitt. A pickup of six. Joe Klecko makes the tackle. It'll be third down and a yard at the 15-yard line. Once again, he came up on a quick count trying to catch that defensive unit perhaps unprepared. That was a good move because they picked up good yardage. Now they're in a short yardage situation. Cody Risen, the rookie from Texas A&M, comes in. Calvin Hill comes in, and the rookie tight end, Curtis Weathers of Mississippi, comes in. Third down and one, short yardage. They'll show a full house backfield. And it is Calvin Hill. This will be close. Calvin Hill from Yale in his 10th year in the National Football League. Clock has been stopped now with one second left to go in the third quarter. We're waiting to see if we'll have a measurement. James coming out. interesting decision on what uh, Sam Rotigliano is going to do whether they go for the first down because three points three big points now they lead by six and now the clock will be wound and that will be the official end of the they're going for it in this situation three points that would happen to be three big points because it means they'd have to score a touchdown and a field goal to go ahead of the, uh, the Cleveland Browns providing they made it Excuse me, I said third and one, and it is fourth and about an inch. But any good football team, when you get a foot or so, and if you don't say to yourself, we can make a foot, then you're not going to. However, they lead by six, and a field goal takes away a touchdown. Well, they're hoping to, to ice this thing up or try to ice it up with a touchdown, but even if they make the first down, that doesn't guarantee that they're going to get in and score a touchdown. Fourth down, and it's a full house backfield. Drives are down. Pruitt carried Mike Pruitt, and I 
believe he jumped too soon. There was a flag down. Waddle led the defensive charge. Schaefer's son helping the officials on the call. That's it, illegal motion. Now the field goal team could well come in if they picked up the first down. But they'll have to bring the change out to see if it was a first down. If it was not a first down, the Jets will take over on down. Well, if it was a first down, the Jets will take the penalty, and then I would imagine the Browns would go for the field goal. The offensive unit of the New York Jets, they were coming on the field. They didn't think that they had made it. What about it? They didn't make it. No, oh, they did not make it. So forget the flag. The Jets take over on down. That is the last play. The left guard leaves too soon. That's George Beeler. I also believe that Mike put the ball carrier left too soon. It was not a real good exchange between the quarterback and the running back. We've got a timeout. The Jets have the football. The Browns have the lead. To drive through dirt and dust, hey. good filters are a must. You can trust AC. Thanks, AC. Trust those filters by AC. We're glad I installed new AC air and oil filters before we get into this mess. I bet AC helps protect those babies too, huh, Dad? If they're smart. Good guard! Oh. So when you gotta go, we're the name to know. You can trust AC. Thanks, Thanks AC. AC. Trust those filters by AC. Thanks, AC. Trust those filters by AC. Was the man who stopped him? Charlie, the New York Jets need something. They, they don't seem to be controlling that line of scrimmage, or they haven't for the last couple of series. Second down and seven. Gaffney goes wide to the right side. Walker goes wide to the left side. With Durking and Long, the two running backs. Matthew Robinson, the quarterback. Both backs in the block. Throws knocked away. Good defensive play by Ron Bolton. Gaffney, the intended receiver. Walt Michaels helping the officials on the far sideline. I think Walt perhaps felt that he had uh, his left hand on the receiver. He got his right hand around to make the, the block or the knockdown right there with the right hand, but he's, Walt may be saying that the left hand is on the receiver. Close call. Bruce Harper and Clark Gaines that are now in the backfield. Third down and seven. Pressure, he is dry. Mickey Sims, that is the fifth sack of the ball game for the Browns. Mickey Sims came up with the uh, with the sack of the quarterback with number 81, Jack Gregory, the seasoned veteran. Take a look at him here. He flushes Matt Robinson out of the pocket. Here he is meeting Chris Ward. He's dead there. After the first few steps, he's got him. Matt Robinson had to step up. Or number 81, Jack Gregory would have tackled him. Take your choice. Do you want Sims or do you want Gregory to nail you? Here's the punt by Ramsey, and it's not a good one. End over end, but takes a jet bounce and goes out of bounds. Just outside the Cleveland 40-yard line. We'll call it the Cleveland 41-yard line. The Browns have the football, and they have the lead. 19-13, 13 minutes plus to go. As the ball on their own 41-yarder, they couldn't find the right camera. <laughs> it's hard to look over and find the camera and turn back and see yourself before the picture changes. Brian Seif, the quarterback, he has had an outstanding afternoon for the Browns. Rucker in motion. Jackson, the cornerback, goes across the defense with him. Pruitt is a trouble shift as he comes back, and he's covered by Marty Lyon. Greg Pruitt. Now let's update some of the scores. Final, Dallas over St. Louis in a close one. And a field goal that won that ball game. Chicago defeats Green Bay. Atlanta defeats New Orleans. Another close one. Well, that was an overtime game. That was Ooh, Oakland has the lead now over the Rams. San Diego still leading Seattle. Denver leading Cincinnati fourth quarter. Seif 
goes down in the air. Ozzie Newsom, the tight end. Got behind Burgess Owen. It was overthrown, Charlie. He had him beat by about two steps. And no one knows that more than that man right there, number 17, Brian Sipe. He said if I'd have just hung it up a little higher or pulled it a little more, it would have been six points. Great speed by number 82, Ozzie Newsom, the tight end of the Cleveland Browns. Third down and 15. Kansas City leading Baltimore, 7 0 third. Mark Gastineau comes in for Marty Lyon. And Ed Taylor for Stan Blink, a five in the secondary. Side to Greg Pruitt, first down! Ed Taylor made the tackle. There were five men in the secondary. And still the Browns picked up almost 25 yards on the play. Sipe is looking for single coverage. He found it. Number 34, Greg Pruitt. He had single coverage. 39, Ed Thompson. He was supposed to be guarding him man to man because they were doubling the outside receivers. 12 minutes, 55 seconds. Time remaining in the ball game. The head coach of the Jets, Walt Michaels. His club trails the Browns by six points, 19-13. Cleveland at the New York 40-yard line. Sipe to Rucker. Incomplete. Well, he is human, isn't he? I think he had his hands on that football. Looked like he did at least get to touch it. Everything else has gotten near him he's come up with. Keith Wright comes in. Rucker comes out. So it's now Dave Logan and Keith Wright, the wide receivers. Ozzie Newsom, the tight end. Sam Ratigliano, the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. We'll have a slot offense on the left side. Do some of the tight end on the right side. Sipe to throw. Here's the three to the tight end, Newsom. Oh, yes. Good defensive play by Greg Bottle. Tight end screen. Sipe set it up perfectly, but Buttle was there for the defense. Number 51, Greg Buttle did a fine job on that one. Here it is. He's trying to influence the defensive end to come in. The defensive end did. Now he slips out, makes the catch, and hopefully he has some men out in front to block him. But number 51 right there, Greg Buttle was going to have none of it. Came up, make an open field tackle. Really a fine play by Buttle. Loss of a yard, third and 11. Blink out, Taylor in. Now five in the secondary again. Last time in this situation, Sipe went to Greg Pruitt. He gives to Greg Pruitt. A gain of three. It'll be fourth down as Joe Klecko and Greg Buttle make the tackle. And for the first time in the ball game, Johnny Evans of North Carolina State, wearing number eight, is in the kick for the Cleveland Browns. He might be rusty out there. He, he hasn't moved that leg. And here it is, 11 minutes and a half to go in the football game. He has yet to kick his first one. Probably going to try to angle it out of bounds someplace or angle it high or hit it high, giving his men an opportunity to get under the football. Bruce Harper is deep with Ken Stroy and Tim Moresco. And he does hang it up. Oh, Just yes. Just get away from it. It goes out of bounds. Good kick by Johnny Evans. Jets are in the hole. They have 11 minutes and 20 seconds left. The Browns have the lead. We'll be back in a moment. Oh, food odor. Get odor eaters. Odor eaters. Odor eaters. Only economy Toyota truck. Football doubleheader next Sunday on NBC. Be sure to check your local listings for the two games to be seen in your area. Cleveland has the ball on their own 15-yard line. And we have 9 minutes, 35 seconds left in the ball game. It is Cleveland 19, the New York Jets 13. Dodd Cottrell with two field goals, but one missed extra point. Pat Leahy is two field goals for the Jets. Slucker in motion. Mike Brewer. A gain of five. Greg Buttle, Stan Blink to make the tackle. will be second down five. Right now, what the Cleveland Browns are thinking, Charlie, is let's establish something on the ground. If we can pick up a few first downs with the clock working in our favor, 
we're going to be in a great great position. And that's not to say that they don't want to score, but the, the type of plays that they're going to run, just like that one, that was not a fancy play. That was straight ahead. It was not designed to lo couldn't lose any yardage on it. Chances of picking up four or five. Second and five. Mike Pruitt. Same thing. And another five yards. He'll have the first down. Dan Blinka, Burgess Owens on the stop. Coming up with the first down. Now they've gone through one minute already. Or almost one minute since they've maintained possession of the football. Two plays. So they can continue this. Now you have pointed out that it passed the nine minute mark. Nine minutes plus. They started thinking this way. Is that about the time when you have a lead in the fourth quarter? You start thinking in that situation? About the nine or ten minutes to go? Yes, and then you can also pick, if you're moving the ball like they are in the last two plays, you can pick a time, you guess right, the play action pass, or throw the ball, and you might catch him now, Mike up at six. Throw it around the corner. From the 26 to the 29-yard line, again a three-second seven, Schaefer Sugg made the stop. That was a play there, number 34, Greg Pruitt. Now, he stopped the clock. That isn't what he wants to do. He'd had an opportunity to, to plant and go back inside. He would have, but number 51, Buttle, the linebacker of the, uh, the Jets, made sure that he didn't. That he's, you can see number 51, Greg Buttle, is, is right here, pumping and pushing his line. <laughs> there he is. Get out there. Get... <laughs> but a good play is stringing out the ball carry so that he couldn't cut back. Second and seven, passing down. Mike Roy. He'll come up about two yards shy of the first down. Big play coming up for both teams, particularly the New York Jets. Third down, short yardage situation. They need to stop them right now with less than eight minutes remaining in this football game. Bob Martin and Stan Blink on the last tackle. It'll be third down and two. Calvin Hill comes in. Greg Pruitt comes out. Dave Logan comes out. Third down and two. Now they make it a full house. Calvin Hill will come up short of the first down. Hey, Charlie, if ever a situation, if you really wanted to gamble, that was it for uh, number 17, Brian Sight, because 11 Jets were around that football. the officials will bring out the chain. But when Calvin came down from our vantage point, I did not think he had it. I thought he missed it by at least the length of the football. We shall soon find out. An inch away. That's a, that's a small a football shot. Very short <laughs> football. <laughs> and Reticliano is going to gamble. He may be. He may be just going on a long count trying to draw that defense offside. Good point. Sipe would come up. He'll never snap the ball. Wanting to pull that defense. He'll chase Kate. Use the full 30 seconds and then bring the kicking. I, I can't imagine him going for it here in this situation. have gone for it and have been thrown back for the Jet defense. Well, I'll tell you, this is a big, big play. Pitch out to number 43, Mike Pruitt, trying to get up, but it's being strung out. Number 22, Burgess Owens, coming in up on play 53, 26, Donald Dykes. From the Cleveland 34-yard line, Durkee will lose yardage. Mickey Sims and cleared Scott are there for Cleveland. 
He loses two to the 36. Second down, 12. Well, they got an opportunity, the New York Jets I'm talking about. Now they must take advantage of it. A little over six minutes remaining in the ball game. Five on the batter. Over the middle. It is complete. Jerome Barco. Barco inside the 10. Clay Matthews. Here, Kevin Long, Close, Charlie. Kevin Long, I'm Coming sorry. out of the backfield. Good throw by Matt Robinson on that. That time he hit him right on the number, going full speed, giving him an opportunity to get upfield. You can see right here, the ball is going to be thrown right on the numbers, right where it's supposed to be. Now he's going straight for the goal line. Somebody's got to make a tackle. 57 is Clay Matthews. He comes up with a play, not before he gets a first down inside the 10. First down, goal to go. It was to Kevin Long. And now Bruce Harper kills. Line. Second down, goal to go. Tom Darden with the tackle. Five minutes, 18 seconds. Time remaining. Clock is moving. Browns leading by six. 19-13. Jets have the ball on the Cleveland six-yard line. Charlie might go back. That's twice. Remember, they were leading by six. Field goal range. Here before, they decided to go for it. Didn't make it. looking on for the far sideline. He's going to get in. Oh. It is tied up. 19-19 extra point to come. The Jets took advantage of that situation. Coming up with a couple of real big plays by 33 Kevin Long. He's got the football. He's going to keep it too. That will win his trophy case, Charlie. You bet. Tim Morris go to hold Leahy to attempt the extra point. Normally, Robinson holds. This game, Resco has held. He misses to the right side. We are tied. Tim Morisco, a new holder. Bert Eaton. And Burgess Owens cannot believe it, nor can Pat Leahy. It is tied, 19-19, 4-48 left in the game. The fans go crazy, as do the Jets. We believe it is Tom Newton, number 44, who came up with the football, but that is unofficial. At the Cleveland 23-yard line. Ricky Feature, 83, making the catch. He's carrying that ball in the wrong hand. It should be in the other hand, away from pressure. That's the oh. reason that thing would fumble. It was Mark Merrill. Mark Merrill who recovered the fumble. At the Cleveland 34-yard line, first down. Kevin Long. Long has been devastating in the last five minutes of play. Charlie Hall was there, along with Lyle Alzado. Kevin Long turn looked like it was nothing into about a four or five yard gain on that play. Just inside the 19 yard line. Clark Gaines will be the remaining back. Two tight ends. Second down and six. It is Gaines. They string him out. He gets around the corner. Darden finally brought him down. While Alzado was also there, Gaines has picked up about 15 pounds this year. His weight up to 209. First down. There it is, 355. Charlie. That is the time left in the game. That's controlling that football game right now for both teams. New York Jets want to use as much of that clock as they possibly can and get a score. Cleveland Browns want to stop them right here. Make sure that they settle for a field goal attempt. At the 13-yard line. First down. Nothing, the call. nothing fancy, straight ahead, trying to look for an open hole, trying to get that 
four or five yard gain. That's what the New York Jets are working on right now. They've got two tight ends in the football game, making sure they have maximum blocking either to the right or to the left side of that offensive line. So that one remaining back, but he can go to either direction. Jerry Shurik and Dick Ambrose on the last stop at the 10 yard line. It is second down and seven. Two tight ends are in. Gaines the remaining back. Schuler and Barkham are the tight ends. Second and seven at the 10. 317 on the clock. Gaines straight ahead. Big hole. Five yard line. Just inside the five. Charlie, I'll tell you something. Straight ahead. Nothing fancy. Straight ahead blocking by the offensive line. Number 65 you see is Joe Fields who is one of the most underrated centers in the National Football League. He really does a fine job. But straight ahead, picking up four and five yards at a crack. The tough yardage is going to come right now because they're inside the five-yard line. It's going to be bunched up down there. Third down and two. Kevin Long is the remaining back. be close to the first down. It didn't look like a very good exchange between the uh, the quarterback and the running back on that play. Robert L. Jackson, the defensive linebacker, makes well, the tackle. They might as well wait till the two-minute warning comes up. Officials wind the clock. It will be fourth down and about a half a yard. Pat Leahy with Tim Moresco to hold, Moresco number 37. Normally, Matt Robinson, the quarterback, is the holder. He has the bad thumb. It is wrapped, so Moresco is holding. The clock moves to two minutes. We'll take a timeout. We're tied at 19-19, two minutes to go. You're cruising at 3,000 feet with no speed limit and no traffic with only the sound of the air rushing past a big pair of wings you're free to do what man has always dreamed of free to soar with eagles and you go for it making the most of now from the life you live to the beer you drink and since 1849, the beer that makes the most out of life is Schlitz. That's why every day, millions of times a day, America reaches for a Schlitz. When you're making it beer, make it this one here. This makes it great. Go for it. Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson, two minutes to go in the ball game. Fourth down, about half a yard to go. Pat Leahy is in the kick, and his holder, Matt Robinson, the quarterback. Jam, thumb, and all will be holding for Pat Leahy. Well, I'll tell you, a holder for a next point field goal kicker is kind of like maybe a catcher for a knuckleball thrower. They have to feel that confidence that that man is going to do the job. And he well, did the it. 11th. He did it. It is there. From the 11, 21 yards away, the Jets have the lead. Pat Leahy, after missing the last extra point. Very good hold. Straight up, no laces. Follow through by the kicker was excellent. You see him jumping off the field, you know that he made that one. The Jets. Last time it was Ricky Feature. Feature fumbled on the return. Remember the overtime game, though, last year, the Browns and the Jets? It was Greg Pruitt who set it up with a kickoff return, and then he carried, uh, either carried or received the ball every play. Charlie, who, do you, the field who do you kick it to now? Do you cut Pruitt back there? And Keith Wright? <laughs> oh, I think I <laughs> kick it through the end zone so they can't return. Either that or a, a line drive. Nope, except Pruitt. Pruitt at the five yard line. Greg is to the 20, the 25, and they drop him at the 27 yard line. Flag is down. They're going to get the Jets for filing on unnecessary roughness. Very aggressive, but you can't be overly aggressive because that can add 15 more yards onto that play. 
Personal foul, Quippy against Cleveland. And that will hurt the Browns. I saw a New York Jet hit Drake Pruitt late, too. He spot the ball at the 13. Trying to give the Browns another 25 yards. So Cleveland now with 153 remaining. Their work is cut out. They trail by three. Sight goes deep into coverage. Newsom, a great and reception. Oh, coming up with it. It's safer sucks. He steals the ball away from Newsom. Jets have the football. Starts with the fifth of the day, or maybe the decade. He took that ball right away from number 82, Ozzie Newsom. Newsom almost came up with a great catch. The ball was underthrown. Schaefer Suggs just took it away from him. The officials are back there now debating the situation. Take a look at it right now. Number 82 almost coming up with a great catch right there. He's taking the ball away from him. Schaefer so stole the ball right there. Now, is he down? That's what the officials are debating out on near the 50-yard line. I would say he'd be down at the point of interception. Sipe throwing the ball. Intended for 82. Newsom got his hands on it. He's going down. Schaefer has the ball away from him. Yeah, but uh, down in down contact with Newsom. Right. So it should be the jet ball at the spot of the interception. And a moment ago, we saw Doug Deacon, who was down for Cleveland. And we believe he's up and all right, although I haven't picked him up yet. And that is what the officials call the Jets have the ball at the interception, spot of the interception, which is the Cleveland 48-yard line first down with now a minute 38 remaining in the game. Charlie, I think to clarify a situation, you don't have to tackle a man. All you have to do is touch him if he's down with the football. Cannot advance it after that. And now Doug Deacon is being, he was still on the far side of the field, is coming across the field with the team doctor. But Deacon is coming across the field under his own power at the left 35-yard line. I'll say this about Walt Michaels. He doesn't get or show that much excitement. He has things pretty much under control on the sidelines during the football game. And I know he is not always that way. But you go back to the gamble with six minutes and 44 seconds to go. Cleveland Gamble, fourth down and inches. And they did not make it on their own 34-yard line. Now the Jets just need to run out the football. Flag is down. Now I think what has happened there, an offensive lineman looked like jumped off sides before the snap of the ball. This has happened. What you don't want to do, I'm in the, when you're in the huddle, the quarterback's telling those people, look, two things we don't want. We don't want any, any penalties. Don't be off sides. Do not hold. And you backs, when you get the ball, get both arms around that ball, clutch onto it. Don't cough it up. procedure called against New York it'll be first and 15 that took up only two seconds now there's 136 remaining the ball now at the Jets 36 yard line Cleveland Browns have two timeouts remaining Charlie in the event that they get that football back Told you both arms around that football, and he didn't want to. He didn't want to continue outside because they'd have run him out of bounds, and that would have stopped the clock. Mike St. Clair is the man who covered Kevin Long, and Cleveland takes the timeout, stopping the clock now with 1:29 remaining, and they have one timeout remaining, according to our account. If the Jets hold on to the football and they don't stop the clock because of the penalty. It's going to put the Browns in a tough situation. They'll call timeout after this play, but it'll be uh, 
third down coming up. They can run out almost. Uh, if the Browns get the ball back, it could be less than 30 seconds remaining in the ball game. And be sure to stay with us immediately following the ball game time permitting. NFL 79. And a recap of all the scores across the nation in the National Football League this afternoon. At the end of the first quarter here, Cleveland led 7-3. It was tied at half, 10-10. At the end of the third quarter, Cleveland led it 19-30. It was then tied at 19 all. And now the Jets hold a three-point margin, 22-19, with 129 left in the ballgame. and 15. Scott Durkee. Durkee to the 50. To about the 48 of the 47-yard line where Ron Bolton and Charlie Hall made the tackle. I'll tell you, there was a block thrown out there, not by one of those great big old offensive linemen, but by number 85, Wesley Walker coming back, cracking back on a defensive back. It has to be above the waist, and does he ever? Defensive back had no idea he was coming in. Third down and nine. Clock moving, 55 seconds and counting. Now he's got it. There's nine seconds remaining on that 30-second clock. He ought to be watching it all the way. The snap with three seconds remaining on the clock. Durkin carry. All right, now Cleveland will call timeout. Okay. And they do. Stopping it. 37 seconds remaining. It will be fourth down and about four yards to go. Tom Darden and Clay Matthews on the last tackle. The ball spotted at the 43-yard line. They're going to have to go after it, Charlie, hoping to block this punt because if they get the punt off, they're going to have a long way to go with no timeouts remaining. And they can hope if they get in and can get a piece of that ball, they get the ball in good field position with the accuracy of Don Cockroft, the fine field goal kicker of the Cleveland Browns. They might have a chance yet. It is fourth down and four at the Cleveland 43-yard line. Keith Wright is dropped back as a solo safety. And Chuck Ramsey will be kicking. Now, you may recall earlier in the ballgame, Ramsey kicking deep in his own territory. The rush was on. They almost got the block, but instead, they ended up going into the kicker. And it was Gerald Iron. Gerald Iron. All for running into the kicker. Coming up the middle. From Mississippi. Curtis Weathers, the tight end, is in to put the pressure on, as is Gerald Iron. And Ramsey is back 17 yards. He took a couple of extra steps. Yeah, they're coming after it. it off. Not that good a kick, and it goes out of bounds. That stops the clock with 30 seconds to go, and the ball is at the 16-yard line. This is Charlie Jones and Lynn Dawson at Shea Stadium. 30 seconds remaining in the game. Moments ago, it was tied 19 to 19. But then Pat Leahy, after missing an extra point earlier, as is Don, did Don Cockroft, this time Matt Robinson, the quarterback, with a bandage thumb, his normal holder, came in and held for him. Tim Resto had been holding before. Leahy split the upright for the 21-yard field goal. That was after Ricky Feature fumbled the kickoff return. And the Jets recovered it. And they now have the lead. Side throws to Logan, far side. He's out of bounds. 25 seconds left to go in the game. Cleveland does not have a timeout. No timeouts remaining, and what the New York Jets are doing, they are conceding the short stuff, 
hoping that if the man catches the football, they can tackle him in the field of play. That's all they need to do at once because with 25 seconds remaining in the ball game, it's going to be tough for them to get off another play. So Bryant or Seip has got to hit the fringe area or hope to go up top, but he's not going to get behind anybody. Burgess Owens is back there about 25 yards deep playing free safety. Seip throws. Almost intercepted. Yes, sir. Donald Dyke. The Jets are back deep. You take a look at Burgess Owens is some about 20 or 25 yards deep. They're playing a zone defense. They're saying nobody is going to get behind me. Number 26, Donald Dykes almost came up with an interception there. It may not make any difference, but one of the official clocks says 20 seconds to go. Another official clock says 21 seconds to go above the message board. Second and 10. Sight goes deep over the middle. It's incomplete. Looking for number 82, Ozzie Newsom. Got a hit in front of somebody, but there's no way, as I said, that they're going to be able to get behind this New York Jet secondary because they're lining up 20 or 25 yards deep. Quick recap of the scoring. Play here, 35-yard field goal. Brian Seip, a touchdown pass to Greg Pruitt. Matt Robinson, a quarterback sneak from a half yard out. Cockrock, 31-yard field goal. It was tied at halftime, 10-10. Second half, Seip to Newsom, 17 yards. Leahy, a 24-yard field goal for the Jets. Cockcroft, a 36-yard field goal. Kevin Long from six yards out. Two missed extra points. Then Pat Leahy with a 21-yard field goal and the lead. Deep far side. It is tipped. He caught inbounds and then out stopping the clock. 32, maybe 33-yard line. Seconds left, Dave Logan. This is a prayer shot here. He's just throwing it up in the air, hoping that number 85, Dave Logan, a basketball player, along with being a football player in Colorado, can come up with it, and he comes up with a great catch. This is following the football by, by the receiver, number 85, Dave Logan. Defensive men are in great, great position. That's number 26, Donald Dykes. He was in great position, but Logan just came up with it. Eight seconds, seven seconds remaining. One says seven, the other says eight. With less than 10 seconds remaining in the ball game. And now, Cockrock, number 12. His experience matches his number's penalty against the Jets. Now, well within field goal range. Let's listen. Number 99, defense, personal foul, roughing the passer. First down. Yes to know, call for Ruffy the passer. Charlie. Our intention, we were looking downfield, I never saw it. Do you remember early in the game when Sype threw that pass and number 99 and our, our, our crew caught it when he pushed him? He said that that is a no-no. From the 25, a kick of 35 for the tie and overtime. Cockroft, it is up, it is good. Five seconds still left. We are tied. And we look to overtime. It's Bay Stadium. Cockcroft is now hit from 31, 36, and 22 yards out. Here's another look at the kicker. The most accurate kicker in the National Football League over the years, number 12, Don Cockcroft. He's kicked a lot of pressure kicks over the years. I'm sure none any bigger than right now with four or five seconds remaining regulation of this football game. He's going to have to squib kick it this time. Just dribble it along down the field and let the clock run out. One thing he doesn't want to do is kick it to Bruce Harper. Now, inside of the last two minutes of each half, which we obviously are, the clock on the kickoff does not start until it has been touched by a receiving player. So we point that out in case something comes up. Well, I'd kick it to one of those offensive linemen. Just kick it 10 yards to the force to pick it up, right? Uh, kick it past that first wave of players. Kick it to the, to the wedge back here that will be situated back about the 35-yard uh, line. 
Bruce Harper is deep along with Ken Troy. About the only way, Charlie, that they, they have a chance, the Jets have a chance of, of scoring on this kickoff is to kick it deep. You got to figure any of those men up front, they're not going to be able to run 60 yards or so for a touchdown. And now Cockroft will be kicking off. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what they did. You're right. All right. Coming up with the football is John Hennessy. And with Hennessy's return, time runs out in regulation play. However, we're now into overtime. We will go to first point scored or the end of another 15 minutes of play. That would be the end of overtime, and it would go in as a we got We've got to find out who wins the toss first. They're going to have a coin toss. And the call here is just <laughs> as important as anything else that may transpire. Randy Rasmussen comes out, and Burgess Owens comes out for the Jets. Cockcroft is out. Ryan Seif is out. Along with Charlie Hall for the Cleveland Browns. The New York Jets had a lot of breaks late there to, to get ahead. It's all going their way, but one break for the Cleveland Ends Browns. Call. Tails is strong. The Jets win the toss. They will receive. End of regulation play. We are tied 22 22. We'll return with sudden death action in a moment after these messages from your local station. Wednesday, Real People exposes the never revealed side of the Dallas cheerleaders. And families named Nielsen examine the socially redeeming values of television. Why don't we talk about Cheryl Keys? And Real People searches for a Johnny Carson replacement. Ah, oh, take my husband, please. Plus, women boxing and a town that fought to keep its chicken on Real People. You know what goes on underground in the fall? Roots grow more actively. That's why it's important to use Turf Builder Fertilizer now. You see, you got to have a good root system for a beautiful lawn. And this is the best time for Turf Builder to help roots grow denser and stronger. It even helps grow more grass plants. So you'll get a thicker lawn this fall and next spring, too. But you'd better use Turf Builder now. Fall's underground growing season only comes once a year. Turf Builder Fertilizer from Scott's. Tomorrow, come into any one of our Dodge or Chrysler Plymouth stores. Make a deal at the lowest price for you, and don't be easy on it. Then I'll personally see to it that you get a $400 rebate direct from the factory and another $400 from us. It's the most outstanding sale in our 75 years due to our factory buyout of hundreds of extra cars and trucks. Make your best deal now, then get an $800 rebate on top of it at every Spitzer Dodge or Chrysler Plymouth store. Huge warehouse savings at Alfred's Huge Furniture Warehouse. Save 30 to 50% on selected bedrooms, dining rooms, living rooms, and more. Tomorrow only at Alfred's. Our all Minicam weekend report, tonight at 11. We start overtime. The New York Jets winning the toss with Bruce Harper, number 42. Kim Stroy, number 48. They are the deep back. Don Cockroft will be kicking off for the Cleveland Browns. And you may notice... That Cockroft immediately wanted to kick from this end of the field. He wanted to force the Jets to be running on the infield of the football, of the baseball configuration here at Shea Stadium early in the ballgame because Cockroft immediately came to that side trying to see if there's a wind advantage. And with a swirling wind here, the flags seem like they're all blowing out of the stadium, so you can't tell from here. Well, they want, they want them to run out of that dirt. The dirt and also. Number 99. Mark Gastonode, he was the he was the man called for roughing the passer. He's going to have to live with that. Because without that 15 yards, Charlie, they're not in field goal range. They still would have, they still would have gone for it, but then it would have been a 50-yard kick. Yes. The Wonderful World of Disney, Part 2 of The Sky's the Limit, will be seen immediately following the conclusion of these telecasts over most of these stations, West Coast and Mountain Times. We'll see it at its regular time. Now let's get the football. It is high and it is short. And it is Bruce Harper. 
Harper leaving a trail of dust behind him. Ricky Feature makes the tackle. And the Jets have the football on their own 33-yard line. First down. We're in overtime. Tied 22-22. First score wins it. Gaffney comes to the near side. Kevin Long. Long outside the 45-yard line. 47-yard line. First down. Matthews makes the tackle. Number 33, Kevin Long particularly in this second half, has really come up with a lot of big plays. None bigger than that, because that's a first down. This is overtime. They've got to get some momentum going. They've got to move that football. And even if they don't score, if they have to punt, they're going to put the Browns in a situation where they're going to be tied up back by their end zone. Matt Robinson in regulation play completed 14 of 24 passes, 158 yards. He goes to long again. Scott Durkee at 76 yards rushing. Wesley Walker, three receptions, 47 yards. Sims with the last tackle. Second and nine. That's what the Cleveland Browns wanted to do, put him in that second and long situation as opposed to second and medium, second and four or five. Force him into a passing situation. They stay on the ground. Durkee. Good play, good blocking by the offensive unit of the New York Jets. For 66, Randy Rasmussen leading the plays out there. For Randy, this is uh, his 169th game with the, uh, the Jets. Here he is coming out putting a block on Clay Matthews, number 57. He's still doing it, isn't he, Charlie? After 13 years, he's what, the third uh, player with the most... Uh, most games play for the New York Jets. That's right. At the Cleveland 46-yard line, third down two. We're two minutes into overtime. Durkee, oh, first hit. down. Scott Durkee. Yes. 42-yard line of Cleveland. He said, any way that I can get there, I'm going to have to get this first down because it's very important. This time it meant going up over top, and he went up over the top of, uh, looks like number 78, Mickey Sims. Yes. Up and over. He must have been a hurdler in uh, in high school back in Chicago. Just inside the Cleveland 42-yard line. First down, Jeff. We're in overtime. Tied 22-22. Yes, Pass sir. Pass is there. It's to Wesley Walker. First down, 26-yard line. Oliver Good play. Davis, Good play. The Cleveland Browns that time, they were looking to stop the run. They wanted to make sure they didn't get much yardage on first down. They were in man-to-man -man coverage. Matt Robinson saw that, I'm sure, and he went to a man that is very difficult to cover man for man. Number 85, Wesley Walker. First down, New York. Cleveland, 26-yard line. this side. Durkee carries. Ambrose and Sim. Now, here's a quick look at all the finals since we will not have a post-game show. You can just pick them out. Clark Gaines comes in for Kevin Long. It is second down and eight. 24-yard line of Cleveland. Three minutes, 20 seconds into overtime. Bootleg. Bootleg. Didn't go for it. Lyle Hell. Alcedo. Drop the back of the 31-yard line. A loss of about seven. It will be third and 50. Yes, sir. This is the bootleg. Everybody look at number 66, Randy Rasmussen, going to the right. It was a call play to the right, hoping that Alcedo would chase. It worked 
earlier in the ball game. Well, you, you know, an old pro, a guy that's a seasoned pro, he, the next time he's going to take a look to make sure that you've handed off the football. Third down and 50 now at the 31-yard line. The field goal kicker, Matt Lay. They need to pick up some yardage, though. It's a long field goal. Clark Gage. People here are complaining they thought that maybe number 74, Mike St. Clair, who come leaping into the pile there late, should have been called for unnecessary roughness. The line of scrimmage, the 26-yard line. It is fourth down and 11. Leahy is into a tip. Matt Robinson will be holding jam, thumb, and all. 34-yard line. A kick. 44 yards and the win. It is up. It is no good. No good. Leahy, who missed earlier from 32 yards, misses from 44. He does have three field goals in the ball game, as does Don Cockcroft and the Browns take over. Ball is down. Good hold. You can tell right there, number 17, Matt Robinson, tells you exactly where that football went. It did not go through the upright. Now, since the line of scrimmage was outside of the 20-yard line, Cleveland takes over at that point. Ball is down. Looks like a good hold, and he has done that. He made the last one, but barely inside that right uh, crossbar. And but the he, extra point he missed, he, he missed, missed wide right. All right, Cleveland, their first opportunity in overtime for their own 26-yard line, first down, with 10 minutes and 19 seconds left in overtime. That's the match it. Pass is complete to Mike Pruitt out of the backfield. From the 26 to the 32, it'll be second down and four. Greg Buttle makes the tackle. So the Cleveland Browns have dodged the bullet from 44 yards out. The bullet was wide to the right is what it was. And well, now they have their first opportunity in overtime. Well, I'll tell you, I'm sure they'll look at it, too, with Matt Robinson trying that naked uh, bootleg reverse that Lyle Alzado did not go for, that lost about eight yards. That's the factor in that ball game so far, as far as the field goal range is concerned. Second and four. Reverse, fake, fake reverse. reverse. Ruin key. Greg has the first down outside the 40, 41 yard line. Barnes Pillars and Stan Blinka make the tackle. I'll tell you, a reverse wouldn't be a bad play because number 93, Marty Lyons, that rookie for the New York Jets, he really chases. During regulation play, as you watch this, Greg Pruitt, 60 carries, 56 yards. You can add this onto it in overtime. Dave Logan, the leading receiver for the Browns, five receptions, 94 yards, including that key one right at the end of the ballgame. And Seif has completed 16 of 29 for 243 yards. And the Browns in the first down on their own 41-yard line. Greg Pruitt, Mike Pruitt, block out in front. Maybe a yard, and that is it. Yes, sir. Good gang tackling, good hustling, and good pursuing by the New York Jets. We have now eight minutes and 39 seconds time remaining in overtime. Only one overtime period to be played. It takes the full 15 minutes. It will go in the book as a tie ball game. First score would win it within this period. That was a big play for the Jets. Now they put the Cleveland Browns in a situation with nine yards to go. They're on the passing yard line. Right. is wide to the near side. Oh, Throw it is nailed. Oh, Blinko really Dan nailed. Blinko, the rookie from Sam Houston State, number 54, taken in the fifth round from Rockdale, Texas, a town of 4,000. And he said, I was not even the best football player there. Well, I'll tell you, he guessed right on this one because he's coming straight ahead and gets a shoulder and arm into number 34, Greg Pruitt. A loss of a yard. It is third down and ten. Yeah, now they now they got to throw the football. Now they get any kind of pass rush on sight. Put a lot of pressure on. Pass is there. Oh, Caught yeah. by Newsom and he is decked immediately by Bobby Jackson. He is stunned and he holds on to the football. Ozzie Newsom. 
He was really. He was pale. It's amazing that he, that he, that he held on to the football, Charlie. And if I read lips, he says, I'm all right. Well, he probably got the wind knocked out of him, and he really did because he makes the catch right here. And look at the concentration on him. Coming up is Bobby Jackson, number 40. He times it just after he gets his hand on the ball, and he does it. Maintain the football. Big play for the Cleveland Browns because it picks up a first down. Now, Jackson is 5'9 and 175. Newsom is 6'2, 232. If it had been the other way around, oh. Charlie. <laughs> The ball would have gone <laughs> way at the Jets 44 yard line. First down. Big third down play. Slot left side. Seven minutes, seven seconds. Time remaining in overtime. Bucker in motion. Greg Pruitt. Dan Blinker with the tackle. Joe Klecko was there. Burgess Owens was there. Just outside the 40. Second down and six. At 6.39, left in overtime. That's a four-yard gain, Charlie. Didn't look like much, but four yards is pretty good on first down. Particularly, looks like the New York Jets are playing the run on first down. Now... Cleveland is on the dirt part. Does that affect their running game? Sure it's going to, because they're going to go from dirt to grass. Plane coming overhead. The wide receivers can't hear the call. It looked like a checkoff, too. Knight goes deep to Logan. Tip into blue. Dave Logan with Bobby Jackson covering him. And you're right. The plane's either taking off or landing in LaGuardia. They're taking off, coming right over Shea Stadium. And on the checkoff, the wide receivers could not hear it. You could see Dave Logan, number 85, turn to the quarterback and move in so that he could hear what he was saying because the airplane's around Shea Stadium. It was a good defensive play by Bobby Jackson, number 40, the New York Jets. Third down and set. Ozzie Newsom is back in at tight end, number 82 for Cleveland. Fans here at Shea Stadium are coming alive. They know this is a big play. Timeout. Right calls for a timeout. I'll tell you why, because it looked like it was going to be a safety blitz. We're in overtime. We're still tied. 22-22. We'll be back to Shea Stadium in just a moment. In the back half of my head. Colin Gardner has a headache. Anytime I have a headache or anything of the sort, I want something to uh, stop it. Will you try extra strength Tylenol? You know, Colin, without a prescription, you can't buy a more potent pain reliever. I would have to try it first to agree with that. Compare the levels of medicine in the leading regular and extra ingredient pain relievers. Extra strength Tylenol has more medicine for your headache. How do you feel? Super. Yeah. And now for me to say super, Oh, no. Most people never hear a word out of me, you know. My headache has disappeared. I was about to ask you if, uh, if I could take somebody with me. It seems to really have done the job. To be perfectly honest with you, uh, when I get home, I will go buy some of it. I would recommend it. Extra strength Tylenol. Tablets, capsules, and easy-to-swallow adult liquid. Aspirin-free, and you can't buy a more potent pain reliever without a prescription. I feel great. <laughs> This is Charlie Jones and Lynn Dawson. We have 6.08 time remaining in an overtime period. There would be only one if there is no score. It would be a tie ball game. The ball is at the Jets 40 yard line and it is third down and six. an extra point. Zipe drops it off over the middle to Mike Pruitt. It, it will is be close very to the first close. Down. Depending on where close. they set that ball down, Charlie. 
He was not the primary receiver. He was looking elsewhere, but he knew that he had to get rid of that football because the pressure was closing in on him. They spot it at the 35-yard line, and the change will come out. Here's a reminder, the wonderful world of Disney Part 2 of The Sky's the Limit will be seen immediately following the conclusion of this football telecast over most of these NBC stations. Those on the West Coast, you will still see it at its regular time. And have we seen this situation before? Time and time again today. <laughs> They're going to go for it again. Maybe Sam Rattigliano, the head coach of the Browns, feels the third time may be a charm. Twice he has gone for it in fourth down situations, and twice the Jets have held. A field goal attempt from here would be a 52 yards in length. Now, this is a good move on Sam's part. He's got to go for it. you got to go to win this football game. was pushed back. There was movement on the right side of the Cleveland Brown line. Burgess Owens for the defense met the play. We do not there know if he got it. It is the it's right, right guard. guard. I believe that is Robert E. Jackson. If we can pick up his number. 68. 68. Yes. yes, it is. The penalty Coming being Hill marked up, so apparently he did make it. Forward progress is over the uh, first down. This is, you know, it's bad for the Browns, but they get the punt off. They're going to put the Jets back in the hole once again. And Johnny Evans is in the kick. 5.33. That is the time remaining in the game. With Bruce Harper deep. Well, they're going to Dennis get... Roy and Tim Moresco will be on the way. Jets are going to call a timeout. They want to get organized out there and make sure they know exactly what what they're going to be doing. While we have a timeout, here's a rundown of all the scores. Houston, Houston coming from behind to defeat Washington. Everything is a final. Philadelphia over the Giants. Miami edging Buffalo. Minnesota over San Francisco. Dallas barely defeated St. Louis. Chicago over Green Bay. Atlanta over New Orleans. Oakland defeating Los Angeles. San Diego down Seattle. Denver shut out Cincinnati. Well, looky here. Kansas City looky over here. Baltimore. Your ball club. They've only given up three Ooh, points in the last three games. We were talking about the planes taking off from LaGuardia. Well, there's the, the next one that went. That is the noise pattern at Shea Stadium. Bruce Hyper will be deep with Ken Stroy and Tim Moresco on the wing. They are primarily there to block. And Johnny Evans will be kicking, I believe, for the second time in the ballgame. This man was a quarterback in college, so I know he can throw the football. I don't know whether the Browns would ever want to chance it, but there's, you know, there's room back there. He could do it. There's he could nobody have in the middle area to cover it. He could have tricky footing, too, because he goes to the skip. Blocked it! Block. Donald Dykes! Dykes blocks it! The man who blocked two in preseason play. He blocked 12 in college, and he blocks his first official NFL kick. Cleveland, Cleveland it, says that they recovered a fumble. It doesn't make Charlie. any difference. There was never possession. It will be the Jets' ball. What's the kick is blocked? You have given it up unless the receiving team has possession and then fumbles. There was never possession. It's the Jets' ball. One thing, I didn't think that they'd go after the, after the kicker and try to block it, but they did. Big, big break for the New York Jets. You're right, Charlie. Never had possession of it. At the Cleveland 34-yard line, first down, 5-24, left in overtime. Donald Dykes blocked two kicks during preseason play, starting out the regular season with a big, big block of a punt, an attempted punt of the Cleveland Browns. Kevin Long. Mickey Sims with the tackle. 
They need some yardage, though, Charlie. I'm talking about the New York Jets because they are not in field goal range right now. Five minutes left in overtime. So we are two-thirds into the only period of overtime we would play if there is no score. Second and ten. Cleveland, 34-yard line. Kevin Long, straight, inside the 30, maybe at the 30-yard line. It'll be third down and six, Dick Ambrose, the middle linebacker with the tackle. That is now, field goal range would be 47 yards. That's the holder seven yards back and add another 10 for the end zone. That's a long kick. They're bringing in number 42, Bruce Harper, and number 21, Clark Gaines in the backfield. They like to throw to them in this situation, third and six. And here is Pat Leahy. He's not nervous. <laughs> He's saying score a touchdown. Please. He's three and three. Three field goals. He has missed two field goals. He's missed an extra point. No Lovely sir. pass. Flag is down. There's a marker down. Yes, Lyle Data was pointing to number 72, Chris Ward. Holding against the chest. That takes him out of field goal range. But they will have the down over. If they accept the penalty. Oh, you and I would have to accept this penalty, wouldn't you? Number 77, Lyle Alzado in the white, in the green. Number 72, Chris Ward. <laughs> oh, now, we will have controversy over that penalty. We can look at that again. This is what the Jets were talking about against the Giants. And they say that in this situation that Chris Ward has his hands inside of the frame of his own body. That the defender is the man who turns. And his hands are inside the frame of his body. Unless he has a hold of the jersey. He might uh -huh. That is the key out. Back to the 40-yard line. Third down, 16. Robinson throws. Lovely pass incomplete. Mark of the intended receiver. Walker was deep, but Robinson did not have a chance to go deep. That's what that pass rush will do for your defensive unit, because he threw that football way before he really wanted to. Chuck Ramsey is into punt. We now have four minutes and four seconds left in overtime. Keith Wright is set for the return. Well, I think the Cleveland Browns make take a chapter out of the, the book of the, the Jets. Maybe they'll try to go after it. They would have to do it with an eight-man rush. No, they drop no, back for the return. He no return the on this one. For the corner. Goes into the end zone. They'll bring it back to the 20-yard line. So now Cleveland will have three minutes and 55 seconds left in overtime. 22-22, tied after regulation play. No one has left this uh, this Shea Stadium ballpark. I have an impression, and that is that both ball clubs, particularly offensively, have played so well, they deserve the tie. <laughs> well, I, I, I'll tell you that they're, they're going to look back and they could say, these, if this hadn't happened or we hadn't done this, we created our own problems. They're all correctable mistakes that they made. But the, both teams have had opportunities to win this football game. It's not over yet. Sipe goes to the air, drops it off. Out of the backfield is Mike Pruitt. To the 26-yard line. It'll be second down four. Schaefer Suggs and Stan Blinka make the tackle. Mike Pruitt. That is the time remaining in the overtime period. It was tied at halftime, 10-10. It was tied after four quarters, 22-22. And it is still 22-22 as Dave Logan comes wide to the near side. Brian Seif, the quarterback. Quick count. In his sixth season. Greg Pruitt. Close to the first down. Got a flag down. Holding against Cleveland. They're pointing a finger at number 73, Doug Deacon. He's debating that call. You take a look at those players out there right now, and they look tired, and I'm sure that they are because it's been a long, grueling afternoon for both teams. And uh, they've got to play again 
next week because there's, there's going to be a ball game for the next 16 weeks. But mentally is a, the way that it affects you, not so much physically, because in a day or two you're back physically and there's no, no major problem. Don't forget the wonderful world of Disney, part two of The Sky's the Limit. We'll be seen immediately following the conclusion of this football telecast over most of these NBC stations. On the West Coast and most mountain time zone stations, the wonderful world of Disney will be seen at its regular time. Into the Cleveland backfield, number 30, Cleo Miller, and running into Ryan Scheib to give him a play. So this play is coming from the bench. Second and 14 at the Cleveland 16-yard line. Greg Freud, outside the 25, near the 27, possibly the 28-yard line. It'll be third down and three. And now Calvin Hill comes in. Cleo Miller comes out. I think that's the first play that Cleo made. He made a fine block on... Number 51, Greg Buttle, springing uh, Greg Pruitt for that gain on that last play. 2.27, time remaining, overtime. Third and three, side. Oh, he's knocked away. Good defensive the play by Bobby Jackson. Booker, the attended receiver. Fourth and three, and Johnny Evans will be kicking. Got 218 remaining in the uh, in this football game, regardless of what happens. Bruce Harper is back by himself. The Jets now with 10 men on the line. I'm sure they're looking to where number Dykes two. moves inside. <laughs> now they're looking for him. Dykes is third in from the defensive right end. He didn't waste much time getting that kick off. A good kick. Harper takes it over his shoulder. He's back at the 21. That kind of crawls to the 24, maybe the 25-yard line. A great kick by Johnny Evans. So the Jets take over. We have 2.07 left to go. And let's do a little of our house uh, cleaning because as soon as this game's over, we'll be going away. Not now, of course, but when the game's over. So this is a reminder. The executive producer of NBC's football is Don O'Meyer, And the telecast of today's game has been produced by Mike Weissman, directed by Ken Fouts. Our technical director, Bruce Berquist, and Randy Wands, our associate director. And gentlemen, along with everybody else on the crew, including our cameramen, who do a tremendous job, have done it once again. The Jets on their own 25-yard line, first down. Robinson, over the middle, Wesley Walker. Look out. Walker, oh, Wesley Walker to the Cleveland 41-yard line. Flag is down. And a flag is down back at the 12-yard line. And Alzado says it's on the New York Jets. Holding against the Jets. That penalty will show up as 10 yards. But it's closer to 50 yards. Yes, sir. The gain that they made, taking it back, what they lost. Big, big play. Number 68. Holding. Holding on the rookie right guard, Eric Cunningham of Penn State. Right guard, Eric Cunningham, he's a rookie. A good pass blocker, too. You see they're doubling up on Jerry Shirk. They got a hold of everything there, got a hold of his jersey. And there is the play that is a race to Wesley Walker. And now the two-minute warning is given to both benches and an official's timeout is taken just as it is at the end of the first half and at the end of the regulation ball game and so that is the timeout here and of course the uh, the quarterback and the defensive linebackers will go and have a discussion with uh, their coaching staff this is downtown flushing new york <laughs> as the sun has set here as we look well, to... that's a tight game. Nine to seven, Miami over Buffalo. That surprised a lot of people, I'm sure. There's another one. Yeah, and I think Dallas had to come from behind to win that football game. A lot of close ball games. That's more today. points, I think, than Atlanta scored in the whole preseason. It may be half of last year, too. Don't forget about the Oakland Raiders, folks. Denver shutting out Cincinnati. <laughs> 
Your ball club did it, right? They're a much improved football team. Are they really? Yes, sir. Now, next week, we've got a doubleheader on NBC. Check your local listings for the game to be seen in your area. We'll start it out at 12.30 Eastern Time, NFL 79. Here's a rundown of the game. Now let's get back to this one. First down and 20 at the New York 15-yard line with two minutes to go in overtime. The draw, Clark Gay. James will pick up five yards to the 20. And it'll be second down and 15. Charlie Hall and Tom Darden wrapped him up. Yeah, they were, they were standing him up, him up, and what they want to do is strip him of the football, but he had a hold, a pretty good hold on that ball. Second and 15, 1.36 clock moving, time remaining. Four on the pattern, now five. Pass is complete to Scott Durkee. About five yards, maybe six yards shy of the first down. Where it'll be third down. They got that hurry up offense in, but it's third down and long right now. No, they, you're right, it'll be third and about seven. A minute, a little over a minute to go in a football game. They've got to come up with the first down here, and they've got it. First down, New York, to Jerome Barker. Ron Bolton makes the tackle. Clock moves on the one minute mark, time remaining. They've got one timeout left. They've got to get moving right now. Barkham is hurt. Each team receives two timeouts in overtime. Pass is high and incomplete, stopping the clock. 42 seconds left. 28, Ron Bolton. He had his hands out saying, no, I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. Mickey Schuler has replaced Jerome Barkham at tight end. The ball is at the New York 38-yard line. It is second down and 10. 42 seconds remaining. They have plenty of time to do it, and they still have one timeout remaining in this football game. Needless to say, the Cleveland Browns will be playing pass. And Wesley Walker will get their attention. Second and 10. Robinson goes deep. Look it is wobbly. It is short. It could be intercepted. It was too short to be intercepted. Oliver Davis had the coverage. Tom Darden was there, and it was just such a bad pass they couldn't get back for the interception. It looked like maybe somebody had a fair catch this ball. This is what you call a wounded duck coming out. It looked like he got it out in front of Wesley Walker. He'd had a chance. It had been a long throw. But once again, with that thumb bothering him, it's affected his throwing today. In case you joined us late, Matt Robinson jammed his thumb a couple of days ago. It is taped, and he has had a problem throwing the football. Not in leadership, only in throwing the football. Third down and 10. From the New York 38-yard line, 34 seconds. Flag is down. Going deep. This one is intercepted. It is picked off by He's got a lane Davis. down here. Back to the 50. To the 40. Davis inside the 35-yard line, but don't forget the marker. We'll have to see what the call is on, who the call is on. It's going to be on the New York Jets. <laughs> Clock is stopped, 24 seconds. Zone defense. Ball is underthrown once again because one thing you don't want to do is throw it short. Either it be long enough or too long, but never too short on a play like that. So Cleveland will have the football at the New York Jet 31-yard line, first down. You see the pass here way behind the offensive receiver. Number 21 is Oliver Davis coming up with the interception. 24 seconds left in overtime. And one timeout left. Don Cockcroft is on the bench. The excellent kicker. They, they've got time to do it. Side throws. Wide Logan. open. He's got, got him. It. Dave Logan at the 10 yard line. It'll be first down. 18 seconds remaining in overtime. And they'll do it right now. They don't want to wait. Cockcroft is in. One good reason why they're doing it now if there's a bad snap from center, this is first down situation. They could fall on that ball, call timeout, and still have another opportunity to kick it. They don't care, you know, it's just... That's the thinking of a veteran quarterback. That's right. Way to go, Lindoff. 
All right, from the 17-yard line, 27 yards, and the victory. Logan Holy, Cockrock, kick is there. It is good! From 27 yards away, 14 minutes and 45 seconds into overtime. 27 yards away, Don Cockroft, his fourth field goal of the ball game. And that makes the final score. Cleveland, 25. Kind of cute to some. Thank you. I never argue with a lady. Smart boy. <laughs> Thank you, Keen. little chickadee. She was a liberated lady who could take care of herself, whether the attack was on her person or her vanity. 